Hello, I'm Amin Dran, founder and CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. Do you crave vaguely holiday-themed adventure? How about a surprise detour into a character's elaborate backstory? I'll take your silence as a yes. We hope you enjoy this, the Acquisitions Incorporated Holiday Special. All right, uh, so you guys are all at full health. Yes. That's Ooh. good news. I always like Merry adventures Christmas. that start that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Viari. <laughs> yes. You recall, um, oh, you had, oh, remember you had your arm disintegrated by I, the I wasn't going to bring it up. Was <laughs> 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 you were hoping nobody would notice. But uh -huh. then a new one regrew. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A okay. fresh one. Uh, a fresh one. Now, I had assumed a few things, like it, w that arm is in the same place. It is in the same place. Okay. Nice. Yes. Is... And occasionally when you wake up after a, a short rest or a long rest, your hand is around your throat, but you don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a second left hand. <laughs> <laughs> Huge plus. So it's a real weird thing. Um, but Are you making a joke or does that really happen? <laughs> when yeah, I say really, of course, I mean in Dungeons and Dragons. I, I need... I is, need it really, actually, joking is, is it I, legit like doing weird shit? Uh, not that you can tell. Okay. But once uh, in a while, when Viari is... Some of is, this. Yeah. When if it VR doesn't feel like your real hand, you should jerk off with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm cheating on yeah. myself. <laughs> with myself. <laughs> with my own hand. With my own yeah. self. Uh, but occasionally when yeah. Viari is by himself, yes. he'll, just, dead he'll just notice something a little odd, like waking up with... Yeah, his hand just sort of resting, on reaching his for the dagger. I can take a look at it if you want me to. Maybe. Um, it's like, but uh, magic. more disturbing than that is the fact that uh, the night stone, that big stone that had hypnotized the dragon in the cloud castle, right? That uh, you knew where that came from. It came from. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, Jared's. <laughs> he got it at Jared's. Uh, and God, that's yeah. very worrying to you. Yeah. Because that was a protective artifact that defended the settlement against dragon incursions. Right. And it has it has shown up here in the custody of these giants, and you are greatly concerned for what that means. Oh, for the town. For the town. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Dragonsville. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're under new management. Re under new renamed man. Dragonton. Under yeah. new dragonment. And uh, you know, you know that the, the the town, the village, was named after the artifact. Uh, it too was called Nightstone. Yeah. Um. So I will let him. Take oh. a bit of a look at the arm. If okay. he's like, if he's like, I'd look, I'd look at that. I'm like, yeah, I will take whatever opinion on my my new demon arm. Uh, mm -hmm. Just to be clear, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> yeah, he's the doctor in the classic sense. <laughs> yeah, I'm mean, going to take a look at it. But I mean, this is not normal. No, it's not. And you I will I have to be fully nude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Well, I mean, what am I what am I using to look at here? Is this Arcana, Arcana I assume. Right? Yeah, you can use Arcana. Yeah, yeah uh, 20. Okay, so when you go up and you start to check out his arm, you just sort of punch him reflexively. <laughs> with with which arm? With the bad arm. Oh, with the bad arm, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, and you're like, little blood coming out of your nose, you're like, I think the arm's bad. <laughs> That's my 20? It's a bad arm. So a punch in the face plus a 20 gives me a yeah. bad arm. Yeah. yeah. This thing's cursed or something, man. I don't know. Um... Fuck his arm. Fuck his <laughs> arm, basically, <laughs> is the prescription. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah just... you, you think with your role that uh, when the arm was recreated, enough of enough apocalypse sort of imbued, uh, uh, flowed through him that it sort of corrupted the new appendage, and the new okay. appendage now seeks to destroy. <laughs> Rage <laughs> <and> <laughs> I've got hand. mage hand. You've got rage hand. Rage yeah. hand. Uh, do, do I still have the apocalypse trying, dagger? You do. I was going to go pop fist. No. <laughs> no you got rage hand. I don't know. Rage hand's good. Um, can I still can I still play music? Oh. oh. Yes, but what kind? <laughs> oh, no. does, does, this, does it come out like real guar or yeah. like it's Scooby Doo metal? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, actually, awesome. you know, it, what's what's funny is that like that. They, they, these guys would probably never see that, but that would be like the legit concern where I would wake up in a sweat one night and I'm like, oh shit, yeah. where's my loot? Like, 
can because you'd absolutely need both hands agreeing for that. Like, yes. can I still can I still play? You can totally still play. But, okay, but the 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 way it's minor the keys. hands play. Yeah, exactly. Wild. <laughs> <laughs> So far, best adventure yet. Yeah. Okay. It's all Diablo chords. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I will, as soon as we're kind of rested up, I can't sit on that information a lot. I say, you know, I I know where that uh, that hypnotic dragon stone, Night stone? came from. Mm. Um, those people, that town that it came from, we could probably, there would be real franchise opportunities, I think, in a town like that that's undergone some economic disruption. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is your sales, this is your, this is your sales. Well, losing so, their, their Nightstone. What's the name of the town? It's, it's, it's called it's, Nightstone. Yeah. Jesus, man, even I knew that. Um, and uh, you know that it's, it's a rural town. It's sort of Mott and Bailey style mm -hmm. fortified um, community. Uh, the, the local but, lord and lady there. But here's what's, here's what's wild. So this is a small town, but it has enough dragon trouble that it needs an artifact. Like it's just in the raw, it's just well, location, according to, location, According location. to what you know of the town, Biari, the, it sort of arose around the artifact. Oh yeah, like oh, it's like, okay. it's always been there. It's like, where are you gonna, where are you gonna farm? I'm gonna farm by the Nightstone. Yeah, exactly. Mm, because fuck that. Well, and, and then and then it's like and all those that... your parents make you go fucking see it. <laughs> oh, it is. It's oh like, no, pull the card over. There's there's a real. There's Are a we real. We stop at the Nightstone. There's a whole like May festival. And yeah, you're, like right. you bob for apples. Well, no, and then they, they put a hat on the Nightstone. That's very jaunty. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, here. So you're saying that you're saying that the place is, is sufficiently fucked, probably that wow. there is uh, an audience for. Our particular it, product. It, mm, <laughs> fucked if enough it wasn't for us. Yeah. Is, that, is that our brand? Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I could put a stone in the middle of a town and go, "This thing's repelling dragons," <laughs> and it, people believe it. Yeah. And, and it, until and the it, first dragon, until the first dragon shows up, <laughs> right? And then um. you just pack bags and you know, <laughs> take, take whatever it is. Yeah. Put your stone in your cart. <laughs> put in your stone cart. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they uh, there might there might be something to be learned there, if nothing else. Right. Um, it, bare minimum, you know, putting it back, it, there's there's probably a, a karmic value to making sure they have their rock back. Well, I'm assuming, like, you cause, cause this, yeah, it was, it's like a fucking monolith, yes. right? Yeah, Correct. so, I mean, if we, I, we the, the, under no circumstances can we go back and get that rock, can we? Mm. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> it sounds like the whole castle might have fallen down, so I guess we can pick through the rubble. <laughs> Did it crash then, into the, no. You left it we, yeah. behind. Yeah, how, how, could you do a new... Dra like make a new no stone? dragon yeah. stone. Uh, mm. That one's not in my back pocket. <laughs> you could probably create an illusion of one. Perhaps. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I could. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you use that? You have that uh, stone shape thing? Yeah, I could make them. It'd be like a. It'd be. It would be off brand. It'd be like those <laughs> fake rocks you put out like to hide like your keys in and shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we should. I, I, we can let, let's go back. I mean, let's 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 touch base with that town and see what's happened because if it was a place that had been protected by an artifact and now isn't, uh, my suspicion is that there's probably some some coins laying around for people willing to solve their problems. My my only advice, right? This place is going to be. Really upheaved, probably like they've, they've, you know. I'd say we go in, lousy with dragons. We, yeah, we get out thick as fast as we can. Let's interact a little bit with the populace, but let's not talk too much to the hoi polloi because they'll be. Is your family there? He's an orphan. Yeah, I'm an orphan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, way to bring that up again. <laughs> Thanks. But Thanks yeah, for... like, is that where your dad's family there? <laughs> uh, I, I, Who I knows? knew some people. Probably. They probably are. I knew some people from there once. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I would say in and out, uh, quick information gathering might be something worthwhile there. But uh, uh, personally, I don't want to hang around a town that is minus one dragon warding stone. That seems like a bad scene. Right, right, right. <clears throat> but checking out the business opportunities, definitely a strong play um, for Q1. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, make ready the horses. So you guys are still in your airship, and uh, airship. you can, uh, looking out down upon the ground below, follow geographical landmarks uh, to Nightstone. You start to pass through cold um, air, and you start to see snow on the ground. Uh, Nightstone is a northern community, so it's not a surprise. Uh, and as you drift above it, you kind of get a lay. It's wintry yeah. time of year. Right? That's correct. Yeah, Christmas time. You kind of get a lay of the land. That the the main town is sort of on a fortified island surrounded by a river moat, and there's this higher cone-shaped hill atop Ooh. which uh, there is a small stronghold. And one of the first things you notice, and everything's kind of blanketed in snow, oh, all the pine shit. trees around there are blanketed, is uh, there are all these sort of pock marks all over the town. And you realize, as you drift overhead, that they're giant boulders that have just sort of fallen upon the town. Did it, do we think a giant boulder might have been what destroyed the bridge leading to the keep? Uh, possibly, yes. It looks like it was splintered um, mm. uh, from above. Uh, but you see all these uh, oh, giant rocks everywhere. Some of them punched through buildings. Others are sitting in the middle of uh, of turnip fields and, so it and cabbage fields. Wasn't warding against dragons. It was warding against rocks. Yeah, we have we have we're warding against stones. And you know that the <laughs> the night stone once stood in the town square, not too far from the well, right outside an inn that was named after the stone, the night stone inn. Makes the sense. keep looks like it took a bit of a <laughs> pounding. You really got. cracked that Rosetta Stone there. Yeah. Par parts <laughs> of the keep have crumbled and collapsed, uh, leaving. So did giants throw these? That's uh, that's that looks like my best guess. Do, are they are, do they, are they boulders or do they look are they work stone? Uh, as you kind I, of I, I, you're, we, we you're sort closer. of circling yeah. down, and as you do, <clears throat> you can see that they look like big boulders. Huh. Hmm. Basalt. I mean, granite. Um, bless you. <laughs> uh, they do look like they're granite, okay. sort of gray. Some of them are kind of mossy. Um, mossy? Yeah. Already? Yeah. That's odd. Yeah, these the are, boulders are, don't look like they're. These are bespoke. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> artisanal. Ar artisanal yeah. Uh, uh, well, throwing, throwing I mean, stones. Are these that the other boulders probably... new yeah. since you were here? Yeah, this is a new this is a new feature. Do my, okay. Do my people live in this town? Or are they like in the outskirts? Like uh, they're in, in in the yeah yeah because yeah, we have a walled <clears throat> portion here. It's not a large town. Yeah. Right. But people definitely yeah. live here. Um, you're you're somewhat concerned because the people you know best, uh, they have uh, their farm right here, and you can see there are rocks mm -hmm. landed right in the. Okay. You know what though? Uh, we could probably. We could probably hoist a bunch of these rocks out on it with the airship. Um, to what end? What are we going to do with a bunch of big rocks? Come I on. don't want them. I'm saying I bet that is paying work. Could be, or a good, good, good PR stunt. Mm -hmm. I, uh, One of the other things you guys notice as you begin to drift down is there's no signs of activity whatsoever. But you can. Uh, that's not entirely true. There's one sign of activity, and that is that the church bell is ringing. Wow, okay. Mm. I don't want to go to church. And that's it? That's, weird. that's it. But you don't see <laughs> any people. <laughs> smoke no from, people whatsoever. Smoke from chimneys? Uh, no smoke coming from any of the chimneys. Wow. No candles? Just the church? Just the church bell ringing. Um, and you also know... Um, is this like, it's like, oh, <clears throat> Sunday church, church bell, or is this like... We're in the church and we're ringing the bell it's because no, this, no, no, this is, this is the warning dang, bell. Dang, dang, right. dang, This is dang, the danger bell. Dang, okay. Dang, this is like when dang, the meerkat's dang. like. So yeah, if, the, if this is like hmm. town alert, like as soon as I hear that, like I will fucking Australian repel off of the <clears> fucking airship. Keep, keep in mind they they might be scared of the big airship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't even occur to me. No, not at all. all. It's, 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 it's a boy the airship dragon wings. No. This is the Independence Day type ship. They're attacking. Yeah. We don't have any rocks. Not again. <laughs> Um, okay, so, so, so uh, you're off. You're basically yeah. Line goes over, line. and you're going. Actually, yeah, it's and it's probably about like that. Where I'm like, I'm like, oh, it looks like, and I hear that, and. Probably just kind of go white and like, I grab a line and I zip off the ship. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the rest of you make insight checks. You know what I'll do? What do you do? I'll open my employee uh, manual, oh, get my dice. Yes. 10. Okay. 
19. Pretty insightful guy. For a dwarf. <laughs> 25. Okay. Good um, lord. Very insightful. Binwin and Omen, uh, as you as you see Viari uh, kind of turn pale and, and then flip off, flip the, off the edge, uh, you immediately get the sense that his attachment to this town is greater than he's let on. Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, I was picking you up think? on that. He knew way more. He yep. knew way more than what was going on. And so now um, he's like done some fucking in fact, you think it's off personal. the edge. Oh yeah, there's definitely that. This time. So he's just, <laughs> this time it's personal. Acquisitions are corporate Christmas special. So he does some kind of cartwheel <laughs> thing over the ledge, grabs yeah. it, he's, he's, and he's gone. He's, yes. just, we, we, he's disappeared. What kind of armaments are around the edge border of this thing? I'm, I'm trying to remember. Uh, you- Around your ship, yeah. you mean? Okay, so you've got a uh, forward-mounted mega harpoon gun. Yeah, except for dragon yep. busting. And you've got a rear-mounted uh, swivel giant crossbow. Okay. All right, well here, I'm gonna, I want to orient the, the craft yeah. so that the giant crossbow can basically operate as a covering thing on the town. Okay, in that case, you'll probably have to be well outside the town. Yeah, 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 in order for it to do that. And, yeah. and it's, we're the only crew on this thing, right? Guy with his cat is still with us. Yes, oh, that's true. Yes, Flabbergast. And, and, the and cat he's is still and he's legit him. now. It seems like he's gone legit. Yeah, he has turned from the dark yeah. side to the Acquisitions Incorporated. You probably at least need a decent offer to betray us. Are yeah. we out of uh, keg people? <clears throat> out of roboids? I know we lost one. Uh, you you yeah. sacrificed. Well, we lost, him, but we lost uh, the best one. Yeah, the one. Uh, well, I'm gonna jump off if and you, you don't send it away. You don't yeah, have yeah, the yeah. others. Yeah. Uh, you don't have the others. Um, <clears throat> here, here. So what I'm gonna say is, I'm gonna have him. Orient the craft just outside so that it can cover and I can call for help. Okay. Probably via thaumaturgy or something. Just yell. Okay. Um, I think that if he's going to go down, um, we should be close by. Yeah. We got to um, do that 1980s. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, op- optimally, optimally, I would have gone with the airship to get each of you from where you had retired. Right, right. Um, and then brought you back yeah. in, <laughs> but we didn't have time. Um, we need you guys you also noticed no, that. No, never. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going back. Here. Um, so yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll drop off as well. You guys do the drawbridge is down. Yeah, we saw that. Yeah. yeah. In okay. this diagram here, right? This one? This one. Oh, that drawbridge. Oh, okay. oh the one to get into the town. Down yeah. as in broken? No, or no, 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 no it's open. open. Oh, so oh, the open. alarm bell and the, yeah, this is some, this is some weird shit. Yeah. All right, here. So we're, we're, gonna, yep. we're gonna drop down. He's probably already gone yes. in, or yeah. So you land in the square, I assume. Wherever, yeah. Okay. Where it's close. Yes. Where I can touch. You're doing a metal riff uh, on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> With his evil hand. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, yeah. When you land, everything is dead except for the sound of the the bell and the church. The church doors are open. The inn doors are also open. There is no sign of anybody. You can also hear now that you're close the sound of the creaky windmill. Can you, can you sweep the? Can you? Um, There's enough of a breeze that it's turning. Are there are there any are there signs of something? Is is a is this a natural thing, or is there trace signs of something? Well, specifically, uh, I'd like to know what's ringing that bell. Yeah, is there anything up the bell tower? Uh, because you, I'm falling down, do I see somebody? You can see the bell moving in the bell tower. I assume I'm floating down in my magic but room. But you, you assume yeah. that there are ropes going down the belfry into the church, into proper. The church proper. So whatever is ringing the bell, if there's anything <coughs> but there. But you're like, hey, check for... They're in the church. Yeah, yeah. Magic. So I turn on the magic black yep. light. Yep. <laughs> it's CSI Night Oh! This place is There's semen everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> We're hippies. <laughs> Splish. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so okay. no, I turn it on. What do I see? Uh, you see no magic. Fuck. <laughs> I wasted a 20. Yeah, it's, it's the only one. You it's the only one this So the no magic you see are, are mm. really limitless. Yes, yes. Okay. exactly. Um, uh, with your, now that you guys are sort of down, right. getting a closer look at the destruction, it's very clear to you, based on the impacts of these boulders, that they were dropped from a great height, probably yeah. directly above. Okay, Possibly so not, from a castle of some sort. Yeah, from. that's my theory too. It, this is this is basically an airstrike mm-hmm. from a floating giant castle. Yep. Oh, so the castle came in, uh, took the stone, rocked this place, took, took the stone, the stone. Oh, rocked it, rocked it, rocked it. Bam. it. Yeah. Bam. So I run into the church. Yeah. Where are you headed? I, I freak out. Okay. Um, like I like into the church, into the inn. Okay. And then I gotta <clears throat> head over to the farm. All right. Well, you you're know. gonna be the first one to get to the church. Uh, 
so you can slip through. The main chamber of the church is uh, large and empty. There is a pulpit at the far end and a dirt floor. Pretty it was provincial. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, you can see another door at the back of the church in what you assume leads to the, the belfry. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll head up the there. Belfry. Okay. And by the time you get across the church and to the door to the belfry, Binwin's probably cracking that front <clears throat> door open and Bam. stomping in. Right. Uh, and when you do, you see two goblins hanging on the belfry rope. Just riding? Just riding it. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Just having fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one of them's upside down. He's the one closer to the floor, oh, just yeah. hanging on it. The other one's Good right times. side up. Yeah, and they're just having a party. And they don't notice you right away. God, I'm in Surprise. no mood. I'm in no mood. <laughs> I... I haven't I, had coffee and I got a cursed <laughs> hand. <laughs> yeah. Evil, evil hands. <laughs> just keep making him drink. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, I, I'm going to get one of them. One of those is for Bin. That's his, that's his okay. Christmas present. Aww. Uh, but you the other one, the other, the other one I, I'm going to grab him and we're going to go like full fucking Batman. Okay. Like, Have at it. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't even bother attacking. I just need to get my hands on him. All right. And, and I'm going to like give him the fucking shaking of his life and demand exactly what the fuck is going on here. Okay. Well, since you have surprise, make... Uh, a strength athletics check with advantage. So roll two mm. dice and take the best result. Wow. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see what you got. So strength. Strength. Uh, athletics. Yeah, Night Stone. Is. <laughs> one. Yeah. Okay. We got so high at the Night Stone concert <laughs> last night. <laughs> so that's 21. All right, you do. You've grabbed him. Uh, and Benwin, you can hear. Uh, the sounds of a, an inhuman yelp. Uh, um, and I do, like, there's not actually a lot of strategy behind this. Okay. Like, I'm not, I'm not straight up Batmaning, like, I'm going to intimidate in my growly voice, but I will shake the teeth out of this thing's head. All right. Like, Roll initiative, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. It's happening fast. Hmm. Too fast for Jim. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on now? How did Jim do? Uh, seven plus five, twelve. All right. Bin win. I also did twelve. Okay. Omen. I got a nine for you. All right. Biari. Seventeen. All right. That's good. Good job. Uh, That's... Biari. Uh, so you're shaking the hell out of him. Yep. And, uh, he is cursing in what you assume to be Goblin. Oh, I didn't think this far ahead. What, what does he say? You, you don't goblin? hear him. I speak Goblin. Oh, yeah, dude, I have loads of you're, you're not. Languages. You're not there to hear Not yet? Not, not yet. yet. Okay. Not yet. He'll be screaming it eventually. <laughs> You'll hear it. <laughs> You'll hear it outside. <laughs> His mom will hear it. This is going to be kind of a dark Christmas special, folks. Sorry about that. <laughs> His How dead mom will hear it. For help. <laughs> Who does he work for? <laughs> uh, do you want to do anything else on your turn? Um, I, I, I need a read on this, on this guy. Like, is, is he gonna, like, suddenly gut stab me, or uh, is you, he a little freaked out? Yeah, you can see he is freaked out, um, and, uh, right now he is trying, even, you've sort of gripped him, uh, so he's having trouble moving, but he is trying to get a hold of a dagger or something that he can use to stab you. A point. You, you see he's turned mean. No, I will, like, if I've got my hands on him, yeah, you'd have a good I'm just him. going to, like, bludgeon him into whatever, like, Whoa. the biggest object is around, Jesus. like, the, the floor okay. or the ground until he gives that shit up. Okay. You uh, fuck your alignment up with this shit, kid. Just, uh... <laughs> 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 Okay, just hanging his head against the bell. Christmas is here. Every year, 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 uh, 17. Okay, you are successful. So what I'd like you to do now is to, uh, oh, let's say um, impact is a d6 plus your strength. Okay. Bonus. <laughs> <laughs> this is like tougher than a kobold, not as tough as an orc. Where's the For... dog? Yeah. 
Uh, so five. five. Okay. Yeah, so you batter him, um, and uh, you can hear little bones breaking. Um, what the? He is still alive, but he is looking pretty, pretty darn he hurt. He wishes he wasn't. <laughs> exactly. Merry Christmas, I like bells. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Ding dong. Yeah. Ding dong. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just like bells. <laughs> All right. Mom, it was my Christmas wish to ring the bell at night, so I still heard my mom over there. So you come flying in through Where the belfry. Make a wish. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> <They come in. laughs> you come flying in through the belfry, and you come barging in through the belfry door pretty much at the exact same time. You're mm-hmm. acting on the same round. Yeah. You can oh. see oh. he has got one goblin that's just smashing him into like okay. door, and then uh, we're like, shh. <laughs> <laughs> The other one is still hanging onto a rope, but is uh, pulling out a dagger and is brandishing it threateningly at him. I throw so a hand axe at it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll give him a magic missile. All right, so r- resolve your attacks. At the same time. Yep. At the same time. <gasps> <laughs> I hope that you hit, well you will hit. He can't knock. Oh yeah, there is. That's two. Okay. Are right, you just using one? I'm just using one. Missile? I mean, I just Because you have, you can fire off multiples. Yeah, but I don't want to kill this thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I appreciate that. The first one missed, but my second one probably hit. Okay. I mean, do they look, I don't know, like, do they look threatening? To me, they were just like ringing on the bell. They're goblins. Uh, they, they look, look th- they look kind of threatening now. He pulled a knife. Yeah, they're pissed. All right. I'll well, keep... he did pull a knife after you bludgeoned his friend to nearly death, but still, right. he's a goblin. I'm good. Um, so, with your 12. Uh, well, yeah, 12 plus, plus seven. 7. Okay, that's going to hit. So he takes Yay. two from the magic missile at Why the same are we time. These goblins? Well, what the fuck? Thanks, game science dice. <laughs> <laughs> Lies. Uh, five. All right. Uh, so that's the problem with the game science dice. Game they, lions. They are more random, which means the bone zone. The bullshit dice that might be weighted differently actually. It's, the range it's is actually different. yeah. It's, focused, it's right? actually very. Random. <laughs> You're not sure whether it was the magic missile or the axe in the skull, but one of those things killed the goblin. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Phew, fuck, fuck. <laughs> I assume we're trying to find out what's going on here. And then uh, there's one left, and that's the one you're bashing. And again, that was pretty much, I just was doing that until he let go of his knife. Right. You know, okay, not, yeah, I'm sure, then, not I'm sure you hear that a lot. Yes. <laughs> your so, honor. Yeah, yeah, you your do, honor. You do see the knife go clatter, clatter, clatter That's across fine. the floor. And then I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm really just like shouting at him probably at this point a little bit incoherently. All right. Uh, by the time they come in, I, I'm, probably, I'm probably a little incoherent. Okay. And Omen, what do you do when you arrive yeah, on I tell Viari, I tell Viari to put him down. Can, can, can you understand? Can yeah, you yeah. Understand okay. what is, he, is, is he saying? still saying shit? Uh, currently, he's not saying anything. <laughs> yeah, <I bet. laughs> back yeah, yeah. yeah, he looks pretty bashed up. Okay. Um, and, and the knife is gone? The knife you could just... By the, as you sort of step in, the knife sort of comes spinning across the floor next to your foot. Okay. I'll, it's, is it spinning before? I'll just step it in the same way that you might kick a skateboard. Yep. As it's coming toward me, I just help it along out the door. All right. Nice. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going to use my turn entirely just to talk to the goblin. Okay. Then I'm going to say. Left of the yeah. I'm going to say. He's uh, currently, you know, yeah, exactly. upside down in Viari's grasp. I say. I say. You sort of kneel down a little bit. Get yeah, down. Exactly. You say, "I am the chief of these men. Do you understand? Uh-huh. Are you the only ones here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are you only here to ring the bell for fun? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just turn away. It's just like, <laughs> fucking goblins. <laughs> uh, I'll say, I'll, I'll shout, don't lie, don't lie to him. Yeah. Villager's gone. Villager's gone. Why? When did they leave? The mm-hmm. rocks? Mm-hmm. Sky rocks? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks a lot for your help. Your knife's outside. <laughs> let me go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where, so let him Where go. is everyone? Oh, what is, what we're is gonna he... find out. I, they don't know. I don't think they Make know a, anything. Make uh, a intelligence check for me, or actually insight, or either intelligence or insight, whatever. Make mm. an intelligence insight check. Intelligence <laughs> insight. Yeah, insight is not okay. my strong suit. Maybe a seven. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> really? Okay. Well. Let's see what if we got. We let it go now. You see fire in Viari's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> 
They would tell stories. You see little flickers of fire burning in Biari's eyes. Is there enough of it left, like it could get home and live? Yes. Okay. It could limp yeah. its way back to. Is it? He got his driver's license. <laughs> it could limp its way back to Goblin Town. Yeah. Okay. I think. I think we should tell it to get its brother or mother or whatever <laughs> being just <laughs> killed, yeah. cut through, and drag it home. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you let him go? They're not going to connect with this in any. Yeah. Yeah. We're not leaving the town What's... until we figure out what happened. But this w thing didn't do anything. These goblins are not the cause of this. They think bells are cool. That's all that happened. And we, they, we're, we're not going to leave. One of them <laughs> we're, not gonna, we're, not, we're not going to leave this town. Punishable by death. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that, actually, that actually kind of strikes home a little bit where yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, oh. Yeah, we are not going to leave this town until we, we know why. We've never really had goblin problems around here. Goblin problems? Uh, you know that uh, there are goblins that live in the hills and the woods and things like that. They're, they're not, they've never been a, a great threat. But goblins being what they are, if they see a, you know, an empty village with a drawbridge down, they're going to poke around. Okay, yeah. I, yeah, yeah you I'll made, him, a, you made a bad call. I'll let him go. All right. Uh, he will grab it's his friend by the we... foot and <laughs> drag him out through the door. Um, Let yeah. that be a lesson to you. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thus to all who like bells. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bella files. <laughs> all right. So this Merry is Christmas. <laughs> so this Merry Christmas. <laughs> Dragon corpse out. <laughs> Best friend. Dude, this day started so great. Dude, let's go ring, ring that bell. bell. Dude, you, no, 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 no. You know how they have that bell? There's yeah. nobody there. I bet. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> we think someone's gonna drop out of the sky. His <laughs> mom's like, it's dangerous. I don't want you going to that village. You kids don't go with that village. There's there. They're dangerous. And they're big. They'll just kill you on sight. Mom, it's crazy. Not all humans are like that. All right, so. Hashtag not all humans. Not all humans. <laughs> but it turns out all humans. Yeah. Well, no, so, dwarf. dwarf. What are you gonna do? Yeah. So, you, you're getting out of this one. So, um,. <laughs> This church is just abandoned, yes. right? And, yes. and and swiftly. I mean, does it does it look like their tapestries have been taken? No, it's not like the place has been looted Tapestis. or anything like that. Yeah, um, I mean, and exa goblins exa don't generally so, value so things that, like tapestries. So a couple things. One, they didn't have a lot of time to leave, or they were taken, right? Um, two, it's fresh enough that no one has had a time, hasn't had an opportunity to rob the place. I see. So you need. Does so, it matter what this church is to? It matters to me. What's the iconography? Uh, so the iconography you see on the church uh, suggests that this is a church to Myliki, um, who is a uh, goddess of nature and the wild and the hunt. Does that ring a bell? And that's, ah! and that's because you know that <laughs> this place... No, didn't. Uh, of course not. This place is sort of was founded yeah. by a family um, <laughs> called the Nandars, and they were big hunters. And there's a forest north of here called the Ardeep Forest, which attracted them for a number of years. Um, a problem with some uh, resident elves eventually forced them to stop hunting there. Right. Okay. Okay, so very quickly, I, I don't want this to take a long time, Viari. Um, so why did you jump off of the boat and then immediately come down and start killing things? Uh, there's a couple reasons I want to ask. One, it's not your job to determine who does and does not die on a mission. Oh, That's a really important thing. Mission, Jim. Well, back up. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly. It's that's that's not your that's not your task. Um, you know, every now and then, I'll let you take the wheel. Um, like but Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> but if this is if this is if this is you know your first at bat, and then you come down and start swinging on creatures that. Are, are small, I understand that you don't like them, and they're in a place that you don't want them to be, but they didn't actually do anything. So it's very, very important to me that you explain why, um, so that I know if I need to put you back on the boat and send you home, uh, or if we can, if I, you can continue to remain here. So our goblin insurance just went through this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our premiums, Skyrocket. that's platinum, okay? <laughs> it's platinum, and I don't mean the coverage. All right, I mean I have to spend platinum. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, like I know you. Is, I know you as the it, guy with the loot that makes the jokes. Yeah, and yeah, it's like I did kind of, and then like that. I didn't really think that through. 
I, I'm if not, I had I'm not to actually, do I'm, again, I, I'm actually thinking of it right now. It's like I did kind of just come in and kill somebody <laughs> in this church. Um, so we're gonna talk it out. Uh, I killed somebody. <laughs> I, I didn't kill somebody. Your missile hit. I did. I specifically did one missile. I did one then, act. And even when questioned, <laughs> I mean, this is the best place. Neither of you is guilty. <laughs> No, see this. This is why. This is why in the firing squad. Uh, yeah, one guy. <laughs> yeah, maybe my act wasn't was loaded. Me. <laughs> I'll never know if it was my act. <laughs> it was your act. I had the placebo act. Sugar act. Sugar act. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you got? Um, I. You from here? <laughs> you from I'm, around here? I'm. I'm from here. Okay. I know, I know people here. Yeah. Is this where your dead parents live? No. Yes. No. Okay. Hmm. Uh, are they actually dead, or did you lie to us about that? Oh. Uh, I haven't updated my resume in a while. Oh, okay. Boy. What is going on? Uh-oh. All right. Listen, I understand how important it is for you artists to have brooding backstories. Is he coming out? Is he coming out? <laughs> no, I, I understand. So, oh. so from here on out, the information that we need to be successful needs to come from your mouth immediately. Uh, there's, there's, right? a, there's not much to this little town, right? It's mm-hmm. like there's some farms. They have a magic stone. Nobody gives a shit. Well, they had a magic stone. Had a magic stone. <laughs> they don't even have that now. Little little town. Tourism. Not yeah. a big deal. No reason anyone I would ever think would ever come here. No Except reason that. for me to ever come back, right? So, right. but yeah, there's... I, the inn is modest, modestly decent and has a nice cellar. That's about all yeah, of this. Like, you know, it's like... They fucking... They brew beer out of turnips here, so why would I ever come home, right? Right, so, right. Um, we'll some shit. Okay, so start it's, knocking shit over. Sure, sure. So, but, but a turn up. They're just cry <laughs> hugging in the yeah. corner. <laughs> so, but yeah, like so. I uh, hold hold on. If something really bad happened, would everybody go to the keep? Yes. This awakens a memory. Um, you suddenly remember something you were taught much in your youth, that time which is that happened, everyone if. Keep. <laughs> the the normal defense is if the town is overrun, you run to the keep. If they can't get to the keep, there is a neighbor who lives in the hills, uh, Zagernezer Hearth. Oh, Zaggy. Is, Zagernezer Hearth is a dwarven enclave in the hills, and they have a friendship, a long-standing friendship with the town, and uh, always promised shelter to the townsfolk if they were ever driven out. Okay. And it's not that far. It's only about a mile uh, north of the town. Okay. So, do we think? Are there? If we look up at the keep, do we see the? Do we see the fire? Are there fires going on inside? You don't see do fire. See? You see just parts of the keep have fallen away, literally collapsed into piles of rubble. But more importantly, the bridge between the town and the keep, this sort of sloped bridge, is broken. Mm-hmm. Can I hop on my broom and just do a yeah, do a, a cursory pass, exam, a quick circle? Yeah, absolutely. Buzz the tower. Buzz the tower. Uh, when you step outside the uh, church to hop on your broom, you do see. Uh, coming out of the front of the inn oh, yeah. and dragging something heavy is a goblin, not one of the other goblins. Not one of the other goblins you've already seen, okay. but a third goblin. And you realize uh, this goblin has a sack full of loot and has filled the sack up to such an extreme measure that it can't lift it. Am I the only one that sees this goblin? Yeah, and he hasn't noticed you, or she hasn't noticed you yet, because he or she is too busy trying to drag this huge sack of loot out. I'm gonna. Uh... I would like to just invisibly walk up, put my hand on the goblin's shoulder, and cast uh, friends. Okay. All right. And I need to make saving throw, don't I? Oh, nice. Yeah. What's the save DC? Uh, fourteen. All right. Fifteen. Uh, yeah. You believe that your spell has taken hold, and uh, the goblin is well, a pal. Okay. Does can't see you. Well, actually, you can because you become visible. Yeah, yeah. I just, cast I just, spell. I wanted, didn't want to see. So, you. Yes, just materialize as yeah, yeah. his best friend. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah, you Jim. just materialize, and suddenly the goblin just kind of looks up at you, startled, and then smiles. This is not a cool place to be right now, my friend. <laughs> for goblins. <laughs> uh, what's going on here? Uh, empty village looting. Uh, so there's nobody in the keep. He looks up at the keep. Uh, Oh. No, what else? <laughs> uh, 
you should you should probably leave the bag and go. He looks down at the bag, looks looks and uh, seems kind of confused, and then uh, shrugs his shoulders and saunters off. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> here. <laughs> <laughs> it's the opposite of "It's a Wonderful Life." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then you hop on your broom. Uh, well, first I sift through the bag real quick. <laughs> of course. When you peel it open, uh, a couple things uh, right away kind of fall out. Some loaves of bread. You mm-hmm. can see a bunch of flagons and plates and utensils. Okay. Uh, you can see candlesticks. Uh, you can see a, a lantern, um, a stuffed muskrat. Nothing <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that muskrat is kind of bang. I pocket the muskrat. <laughs> yeah. um, it looks like that this goblin was like looting the stores in the kitchen. Right. He had shit taste. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they don't know what's going on. Oh, there, but then you see a bottle of wine. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's kind of fancy. I'll pocket color. that as well. <laughs> so you yeah. come up with a muskrat in your bottle. <laughs> muskrat in a bottle of wine. Dude, it's a party. I mean, Thursday we're night. Yeah. Um, we're ready to go. Well, I still want to do my fly around. Yeah, yeah, yes. have to. So you hop on the broom. Uh, by this time, the rest of you have probably stumbled out of the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the church. And you see Jem <laughs> rocket off. It circles around the keep. There's no sign of anybody. Okay. Uh, but you can see into the keep through collapsed yeah. sections. It's just empty rooms. Carnage. Oh. Uh, it looks like that several boulders struck the top of the keep and actually caused. Yeah, sections and if the bridge collapse. was shattered, then they would use the other rule, which right. is to go to yes. uh, or Hearth. Yeah. I land right next to Binwin, and I real quick, so the others can't see, flash him the muskrat in the wine. <laughs> 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 the muskrat in the wine. <laughs> I get him back in the cloak. Thursday night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, while he's doing his his quick loop. I'm like, I, I'm just like, I've got to, I, I got to go see something over here. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll go yeah. check I'm gonna out. Be, I'm just need, I just need to be with him just to make sure he doesn't kill anything. Anything okay. else, yeah. So yes, uh, when you go around back of the farmhouse and you look around, you see the door is flung open and there are all kinds of tracks through the garden indicating a rapid exodus. And you can make a, 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 a the survival? survival check, thank you, uh, <laughs> to count the tracks. I got your back, Chris. You, you fail it. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> You fail. It probably still. Did. <laughs> uh, yeah. Six. Has anyone seen my yeah. walkie-talkie? Six. <laughs> okay. Premonition. And uh, uh, so when you look, you can count maybe looks like four adult sets of tracks. Okay. Like there, like none of the boulders like crushed in the roof of this or anything. Uh, your place was uh, um, super mo- crushed. No, was missed. <laughs> the most okay. crushed. Pulverized. There are other uh, farmhouses that didn't fare so well. Okay, so I kind of I look at that and I kind of I look in. I, I probably like literally like I, I walk in and I look look around at some stuff. Uh, you can see, uh, apart from the fact that people uh, left rapidly and kind of left a bunch of stuff behind, uh, you can see that there are pots, pans, and other things out to suggest there was uh, somebody was gearing up to cook something. Yeah, uh, and then it sort of dawns on you uh, that. Um, the Dead Winter Day Festival was probably a few mm. days ago. Mm. Oh, that's the that's the Aunt Marjo's fucking potato salad that we well, always make and everyone hates. No, so yeah. is it customary during the Dead Winter Festival for people to fling rocks <laughs> from Skyborn Castle? Typically, is that a typical typically thing it's or? a depressing festival. It indicates oh, shit. it indicates yeah. the height the height of winter. <laughs> Another uh, real fucking fun time here at Shit Show Nightstone. <laughs> One is created, oh. it's created by Omar to sell Dead Winter cards. Yeah. <laughs> so. But it was the, 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 what they typically do in this town. Not in order- anymore, not with the war on Dead Winter. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even put up your Dead Winter tree. It's joyous no. Dead Winter. Yeah, to, joyous. <laughs> to alleviate the Dead Winter doldrums, <laughs> the village typically has a big feast. And all of the farmer, farmers basically contribute to the feast. And all the meals are taken to the inn, and the inn is all decked out so that everybody can basically partake and have a grand meal there. It's, it's like the yeah. last great meal they'll have until the, the fall. Until the spring festival, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. So I, 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 I mean, I'm with him because I want to make sure that he's cool. Um, is there anything of valuable <laughs> around in here that I can <laughs> just eat a salad left? Yeah. Or? <laughs> Oh, you know that uh, uh, most of the pots are made of copper. You think yes. that that could be melted down into something? Yes. No, I don't. I yeah. don't rob his family. <laughs> okay. Um, but he's but he's clearly it's 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 like when like when an elephant visits like an elephant graveyard, their trunks are just like all over the bones. He's just like <laughs> sad music is playing and he's like touching 
port, you know, picture frames and shit. He's <laughs> yeah, a hand actually, on the hearth. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, really not touching anything. Like, I, I, I go in, I look around. Like if some, yeah, you know, like I kind of like nudge the pot that's on the yeah. floor with my foot, and then I'm like, you I'm see like, him okay, look longingly up toward. Like, yeah, yeah, let's, let's you go. see him look longingly, longingly up toward a loft where you can see a couple hammocks are strung, um, and there are some shelves up there for objet d'art. Yeah, yeah, um, if you will, and stuff like if that. You will. Yeah, I'm exactly. sure we have a table to roll. Right. Yes. Two wood, two wooden dice. Yeah. A doll. Yeah. Um, they look like they look like hammocks that you know young boys would. Something. Exactly. I say. I say. Is there is there anything else uh, yeah. here that you need, or is no. it time to go find? No, them? I just. I just. Yeah. I just want to see. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Set of muskrat and wine. And wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! It's Thursday. Oh shit! <laughs> so, muskrat and wine. <laughs> so this is what we want to do. Um, uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Dead. I'm gonna. I, I leave the. I leave the house, mm -hmm. and I shout up to the airship. Uh, to come over into the town square. Yeah, it'll so land can, in the town square. Yeah, so we can we can get back in. And I say you can direct us. You can direct us to uh, the hearth. Yeah. Uh, the dwarven township. Yeah. I'm very excited. I had until he explained to me, I thought the the rocks were just a really cool thing about the town. <laughs> I like rocks. You're pro rock. I was like, this place is really cool. There's boulders everywhere. Wow. That, that, I thought that was really too? neat. Yeah. And these rocks? And these rocks. An abundance of riches. <laughs> he explained to me that possibly people that were close to you died because of them, and now I feel bad that yeah. you're enjoying them. Possibly. I wasn't 100% sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's a footnote about For the rocks. I'm glad you have a silver lining. Yeah, but but that's the thing is that when we're here in the square, like but we're, hey, not, we're on, not seeing carnage. On the upside, more no. rocks. They, they, when, <laughs> right? when, when, when a problem happens in this town, they have a plan and they execute it. So we should go to this other place. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, right. the airship is down yeah. in the square. We're gonna jump in. It's a little weird for you to see, having not been in the town for so long, to just see the Acquisitions Incorporated airship in yeah. the middle of the town square. It's, yeah, that's. It's crossing the streams, right? Yeah, it's really. Yeah. Yeah, like looming over the town square. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Is there anything smaller than you remember it? <laughs> it's, uh... I think he's got some shit about this village, like... He grew up here. Yeah, but I think there's more to it. Oh. Um, on the boat. All right, you hop on, the airship lifts off, and you begin to head <clears throat> north. And with VRE's guidance, as you make your way into the snowy hills, you see one of the hills has a structure protruding out of the top of it, a sort of squat, ugly, stone, blocky tower. And that you recognize as being the sort of defensive um, fortification uh, of the Zagernezer hearth. And there's a set of doors set into the hillside at it the is. foot of the hill underneath the tower. Do we have like a, we are not trying to wreck your day flag we can fly? <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, you you tell me. It sounds like there's a pretty tight cultural mesh between Nightstone and Zagernezer. If they if they're meant to go here during times of trouble, there must be some way to make the, this tower not destroy people who are coming up the hill. Um, is, there, is, there, is, there, is there an old song? Is there a, 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 a rock poem? Friendship. Yes. <laughs> the friendship rock. The traditional <laughs> friendship rock. That's what yeah. they do here. I guess. We, use, we use the crossbow of friendship. So the way the tower is built, uh, since it comes up right out of the hill, you're only seeing the upper floors of it. Yeah. It's got a, a slate cap, so it doesn't have battlements. Okay. Um, and there's only, apparently, arrow slits on the side facing the road leading to the front door. And they're just narrow slits. Um, it, there's no um, ornamentation to the tower. It's pretty stark and uh, functional. The main thing that we do is like, if if there's ever a problem, is we make sure to not approach them from the danger side. No, we we don't approach danger them zone. in yeah, a, in a highly armed airship. Uh, that's how they know that we're not threatening them. Uh, I say we land in the... That yeah. might yeah. be... Let's, let's, let's set it down and then we'll go in with you at the front. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you set it some distance away and as you walk up toward the entrance to the Zagarnezer Hearth, you can see evidence of the tracks of townsfolk, of villagers heading up Trotty to the doors. Yep. The frozen ground. Exactly. Looks like we're on the right track, guys. Yep. And the stone doors that form the entrance are set, they're recessed, the into the hillside. <laughs> yeah, gotta go. And uh, you can see carved onto the doors are uh, grinning, welcoming dwarves. Oh, hey, well, that seems good. I like this. Is there, yeah, is there, is there, are we supposed to 
manhandle one of these dwarven iron. faces. There's sort of stone rings yeah. on the door. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you do. I do? Mm-hmm. Okay. I walk up and I kiss it. All right. <laughs> That's how you <laughs> let it know. Really? Yeah, you got to bless it with a kiss. Your lips kind of get stuck to the stone. <laughs> 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 what happens? Do we have to call the dwarven fire department? <laughs> I did that as a kid. For reals? Yeah. I did. Does it legit? You did oh, too? Oh, yeah. I didn't yeah. know that was a thing. So I learn. put my tongue on the uh, railing of a bridge because it went over a creek. Oh, no. And my tongue got stuck and I went, oh, no. Okay. I heard about this. This is like when you're in the summer when your hands are wet, you put your hand in the ice box and the ice sticks to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah you so here's what I'll do. I'm going to wrap my lips around the tongue <laughs> and breathe hot. And insulate and it. And this will insulate it. Uh, and I did that and I went, oh, oh, oh. Tongue comes right off, and I went, eh. <laughs> and then the lips. And now my whole, yeah. my whole lips Oh, no, then your whole face. And I'm like, God <laughs> dang it. I was so mad. How'd you get off? I went like this and just started breathing heavy, and then I thought I was safe, but oh, when I got home, it. I was all ripped up, and Dad oh, goes, to put your mouth on a grate, and I went, <laughs> <laughs> He was proud of me, though, for well, saving my tongue. They're not dying out there. That was, that was good problem solving. Yeah, he's good like, problem. you were so close. Yeah, <laughs> because the the real trick would have been not to put your tongue on it. Yeah, so you don't learn anything. The ur- trick. No. When you inspect the doors very closely, you see that uh, there are the doors have knockers, but there the eye holes on the doors no. actually are like shutters. They can be opened okay. and closed from the inside. That's really cool. Yeah, that's uh, a nice feature. Yeah. We need to consider that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so these are real dwarves. Yeah. Real dwarves made these. <coughs> yep. Clunk, All right. I do clunk. a I do an appropriate dwarven knock. All right. Uh, you wait, and you wait, and you wait, and you wait. This could take a while, but you're not surprised. Okay. Dwarves kind of take their time. You see these little legs? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, and... End of adventure. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> yeah, end of adventure. Nobody <laughs> comes. Now Nobody you comes. Here. What does he just go up? <laughs> the <laughs> credits roll. Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just hands like this. I thought he pulled out a grappling hook and went, uh... <laughs> yeah, I have nothing else planned. Yeah. <laughs> That's as far as I can think you guys would get this far. All right. The problem is that he would only be able to levitate up a couple of feet and then yeah. he has to come back down. <laughs> Sorry, there was a ceiling. I forgot about that. Uh, but nobody comes. That's what? odd. What the fuck? Well, they're this not is there. getting weirder. Hmm. Hmm. I is checked it? the door for yeah. secret. Uh, okay. Yes. Stone hidden, stuff? Yeah, hidden ways to get in. Dwarfness. Right. So, what would this things. be? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Wow. Well, it doesn't matter what skill. Boom. Yep. Uh, you have it. Whatever it is. Yeah. You just uh, tickle that dwarven chin. You've got the, you've got this sort of mental litany of things that you do when confronted by doors that don't open on their own. <laughs> yeah. And one of the first things on that list is check to see if the doors are locked. Oh. <laughs> and when you push on the doors, they just open. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's nice like that's the number Not one. Is, number one is just <laughs> number one is just pushing Push. the door. Yeah. We're okay. wasting twenties on fun shit we don't need to. Yeah. I like to think the twenty let you make it look like you found yes. a seat. Right. Release. No, definitely play that up. Yeah. <laughs> tink, tink. One leg out. Hold on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Dwarven twister. And you're like, like oh my god. That no, yeah. no. How does he do it? Not in yeah. years. <laughs> and you just yeah. <laughs> Uh, Next one. Walk in. Thank goodness he's here. <laughs> Beyond the doors is a uh, ten-foot-wide passageway that tapers up toward the ceiling a little bit. Uh, there are carvings of dwarves on the wall, um, performing all sorts of uh, sex acts. Sex acts. <laughs> yes. What yeah. nice. erotic <laughs> sculpture? Oh, I would love. That's going to be in my house Sutra. when I build it. That's going to be in my foyer. Beard porn. Yeah. Just dwarf porn. <laughs> um, just big frescoes. Yeah. Tile. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Very, yeah. very nice. By Bimbo, yeah. with your stone uh, cunning, you can Rubenesque. see that there are very clever trap doors in the ceiling, uh, roughly halfway down the passageway. The passageway goes to a, a short staircase that leads up into some sort of lit room. Okay, so actively lit. Yes. This is the first sign of yes. non-goblin life we've seen. Correct. Like, okay, this, so this but a... I I suspect that hidden amongst these pornographic this issue of playbeard yeah. are trapdoors designed to harm us. Uh, hidden, uh, basically, the the frescoes are on the walls. Yeah. The trap doors are in the ceiling. You think it oh, might be some sort of defense and right, mechanism right. for dealing with intruders. So I say mind the oil shoots. Yep. Or boulder shoots. Okay. Um, 
Do I have... on the have... You also feel that the dwarves have, or the dwarves, the doors have springs in them and they will close behind you. Oh. Um, Okay. Uh, is it bad? Like, does that mean something to these traps? Or I don't know, but maybe we should keep <coughs> the door from completely lock, yeah, closing yeah. on us and locking L- us little, in. I'll put a, I'll like put a one of my piton or something. Yeah, or spike. I got something. Door spike. <clears throat> yeah, I'll use one of my door spikes. Dwarven door spike. Yeah. Dwarven right. door spike. Yep. Yeah. Just hammer one in. Yeah. Dwarven door spike. Just Dwarven t- door spike. Just tap it in with your hammer. All right. So cold air is blowing in from outside, but the doors are in no danger of closing on their own. Uh-huh. You're not my real dad, Philip. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> we got to some shit. Whoa! <laughs> it just came out. All right. So this uh, is like a big dwarven community. Like th- there's a lot of them here, right? Uh, a dwarven family but lives here. A clan. Here. The Zagarnezers, if you will. The Zagarnezer clan. So like yes. A big, huge extended like, you must subterranean know family. If he lived here. Well, yes. Mm-hmm. He's, well, his one of his kids. You know we. You know, There's this weird guy that hung out every once in a while. <laughs> but you can buy pots like Zagarnezer. <laughs> he's, he's cool, man. He's just One of the cool. th- two things you know that the Zagarnezers uh, had here. One is uh, there were always rumors that this place was built on top of a dwarven mine, which is not uncommon. Right. It's almost always two, are. Dwarves, well, dwarves and crazy with their mining. Uh, two, the Zagarnezers did like to get it on. Uh, oh, swingers. Three, uh, <laughs> they also made their own ale. And uh, uh, the Zagarnezer brand ale came in small iron casks, which they fashioned themselves mm. here at the hearth. I mean, it's, it's a full service. It's either yeah. the fucking turnip beer, or you get the good shit. Yeah, beer exactly. From Zaggy. You roll yeah. up. Yeah. Get that Z style. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know why nobody would be here. Uh, can I, can, I? I've never really had much <clears throat> opportunity to detect trap. Yeah. Do, do I? Just dust it off, man. Just dust it off. Roll Try that dice. Check. What what is that under? Is that a special thing? They switch it oh, out. So you're just using five. your skills, basically. Yeah. yeah like, I mean, so it's, it you make a perception check. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Nineteen. Okay. And where are you looking specifically? Because Benwin's already pointed out there specifically the anything. floor. Like we okay. have to walk across the floor yeah. to get there. I don't okay. want. Uh, he starts to tentatively make his way up the floor. What are the rest of you guys doing? He's clearly searching for traps. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of caboose. This process. Yeah, I'll, I'll get in line behind Omen. Okay. I will bring up the rear. All right. Uh, you do not find any traps as you make your way slowly through the floor. As you pass by one of the walls, you see a secret door. Guys, secret door. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where? Right here, it's and I the, open it. It's on the left <coughs> wall. Yeah. <laughs> he pushes it open, revealing a uh, dusty uh, landing at the foot of a staircase that goes up. It's a good thing I'm here. Yeah. Now, <laughs> based, based on yours. <laughs> but the light is ahead of us. Yes, the light is further up the tunnel, so this is taking you away from the light. Mm. And it's a dark staircase leading up, and based on its location, you think this staircase must go up to the tower that's above. The defensive? The defensive fortification. Mm. It's probably worth a tour of it real quick. Want me to yeah. run up and see if yeah, I can disable Yeah, 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 because, because they would you have want seen... Me to go with them? Yeah, 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 you guys go. So Because they would have seen... Split the party, good yeah. idea. <laughs> <laughs> but they would have watched the rocks come down. I mean, there might still be people at oh, watch. Humanity. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> so, oh my god, the rocks are coming out of this. You guys head up this flight I of stairs. I told you all about Iraq. They... <laughs> <laughs> what? We were doing Hindenburg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I, I think that there's a dwarven prophet oh. who's been talking about them rocks. I told you about them rocks. Okay. Do we see anything up there? At the top Mind of the stairs, you see there is an iron door in one wall. Um, and when you check this door, you see it's locked. <laughs> Whoops. That's not going to work on me this time. So it's an iron door that's completely locked. Dwarven made door locked. Well. Cool. Is there a keyhole that I can see through? Uh, there is a keyhole, and uh, unfortunately, um, unless you have dark vision, you don't see much beyond because it is dark. I look through it. Uh, you see what appears to be a chamber that has trap doors in the floor. Okay. Oh wow! Even even their defensive position is loaded with traps. Yeah. Well, that's probably the door. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And then you see another iron door across the way. But no one in there. No, okay. it's clearly not inhabited. And actually, um, you can. Even feel cold air moving okay. around in there, probably because there's open windows, open yeah. air slits. Backtrack. Yeah. It's yeah. Explicit. Yeah. So come down, and then yeah, sounds, it sounds like it's a trap-free experience. Yes. This season, um, yeah, we should we should make our way up to the Close one single lit sign of life we've seen yet. Okay. 
uh, hopes. You head up a short flight of stairs into what appears to be a large antechamber. There are frescoes. Ant chamber? Antechamber. Yeah. Antechamber. Antechamber. Full of ants. It's not yep. an antichamber. It's not the opposite of a chamber. Or, uh, an anti or a chamber for your ant. <laughs> and it's got a 20 foot high vaulted ceiling. Uh, carved into the walls here are more dwarves, but they appear to be sentinels. Um, and they're They've got their arms sort of protrude from the stonework of the wall and are holding torches. Cool. Uh, so it's not even people here. There are two um, exits that you can see. A set of ornately carved double doors directly ahead, and then another set of double doors further recessed into a wall to your right. Now, Binwin, mm. you can see yeah, this um, is what we need. stonework that looks highly irregular. Where? So to your left, you believe there may have been another exit, because you can see evidence of an archway, but it's been completely bricked up. Okay. Um, and similar, sort of a gray, similar brick to what the, the surrounding stonework is. It looks like it was made to cover that entrance. And right. I, uh, I test the strength of that mason work. Okay. Uh, it looks solid. It is? Um, yeah. But you don't think, when you sort of knock on it with your axe, you don't think it's a deep wall. You think it was just meant to hide. Okay. I try to take it down with my axe. He starts to go ape on the wall. Well, yeah, I, that's oh. his department. Um, yeah. One other detail is in the middle of this room is a what appears to have been a fountain, but there is nothing spouting out of it anymore. Oh. There is an empty basin, and there is a, uh, a female dwarf holding an urn up, slightly canted, in a way that suggests there may have been something that poured yeah. out of the urn into the basin at one point. Are the torches lit? They are. So they're torch the burns for like an, yeah. A torch burns for an hour, right? Yeah. <clears throat> are well, they actual torches that are being held? Yes. Okay, so this yeah. is. So you could real... literally take the torches oh, okay. out of the dwarves' grasp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Hello? Was I ever here? No. Yeah, maybe not this far in. Yeah, maybe. no. In the whole time you lived in town, there was never an emergency that warranted you coming here, and the dwarves never extended invitations otherwise. Right. right. Occasionally, you'd hear uh, villagers coming here to pick up ale and then coming back, but they. How is recent it? is that stonework? Uh, you think that that is fairly recent, like okay. within the last few months. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everything That's else important. about this room is hundreds of years old. Ancient. Yeah. That's weird. I and your, and your, your sense of this whole, so the, the wall, Yeah. that's the focus. Something's back here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, my fear is someone's been put back there against their will. There you go. In Getting, a cask of yeah. Monta. You or smash. they just built it to protect them. Yeah. yeah. Or there was, they delved too deep, you know. <laughs> oh. Too greedily. It, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, just dwarf things. But you smash through. Either way. Yeah, you All take right, it down. Then. You create a hole about four feet high and three feet wide in this brick wall. Okay. And beyond, you can see the hallway continues, and then there's another set of double doors, um, which obviously haven't been opened since this place was bricked off. Okay. And it's just a dark hallway? Yeah. Give me one of those torches. Oh, I have dark vision. You do. <coughs> yeah, as do I. You might want to grab I'll a torch. I'll snag a torch. And Boss, you want me to investigate this? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All Let's right. investigate. Okay. Uh, when you go up to this other set of doors that were hidden behind the brick wall, uh, you see that they're not locked. Uh, they push open to reveal a 30 foot, 30 foot deep hall with another set of doors. What's with this doors and doors? Dwarves! Dwarves! Dwarves on doors. Dwarves doors, yeah. yes. <clears throat> and when you get to that set of doors, you see that they're not locked and they open into what appears to be a large abandoned brewery. <gasps> When you say Chris abandoned, the, uh, one presumes that there is casks of aged product. So you can see that there are. This room is vast that you enter, um, and the, all uh, along the, the walls operation. are these giant stone noise tons. Uh, the tuns. Uh, tuns. Uh, tuns. Uh, yeah. These <laughs> these large um, vats. Okay. Um, basically protruding from the walls. Yeah, kettles. Yeah, essentially huge, monstrous brewing kettles, and there are great webs sort of strung all between them. Oh, uh, wow. It's ancient. Uh, the place has not been visited in a while. It's so weird, but that's one of the but things they're, they're, they're known for. They're full You're, of You can't tell, but there are spigots. Well, I have a travel mug. Yeah, yeah. Yep. if we tap Shunk. on one, is it hollow? Is it empty? Or? Uh, they're to... stone, uh, so you're not getting much of a... <laughs> I try to... Fill up my travel mug with a with a sampling. All right. Is uh, it collapsible? Like yeah. 
Uh, Travel Stein. Yeah, you turn this, pull this big spigot handle, and uh, yeah, this ale gushes out. All oh, right, man. I chug it. <laughs> mm. Smooth. It's corked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it seems to have turned. Uh, oh, no. Uh, but not in a good way. No. All right. Ah, what a nightmare. Should uh, we look at the other door? This room has uh, at least one other exit that you can see. At the very end of all of these giant kettles, these stone kettles, is another set of double doors. Those ones are open, and uh, you already. Can yeah, they're just, they were just sort of left open. Yeah. Um, and uh, there's a room beyond that contains some sort of large dark fireplace. What the fuck is but going we, on? I'm with this we place. skipped over a door to come we in did, here, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Should we go back and just I check that one for heat? You know, well, the, fire, the fireplace is the end of this chain, right? Yeah, if you go right to the end of the brewery, past all the kettles, through another set of opened doors, you see a, b a big fireplace. Yeah, that, that, that's an end point. Okay, yeah. fine. Let's, let's, let's go let's check that out, but then let's, yeah. Okay, when you go, th uh, when you cut through here... So we don't leave anything behind us. Right. But, like, why... Like, this, no, this is I mean, okay, so weird. Why, why do you abandon your brewery... A long time On ago. Christmas Eve. Where, Beer, are our, no, like, where are our people? No, it's, it's some sort of... A beer ball rug is the only yeah, yeah. rational beer solution. Rug. Beer rug. Beer rug. Beer rug. Beer rug. Ale rug. <laughs> log, Much better. Logger Logger rug. rug. Logger rug. Logger <laughs> rug. <laughs> here, so we were supposed to come up here and then find them, and then we were supposed to have a dwarven feast. Like, that's what was supposed to be happening. And now instead we found this gigantic cold fortress well, with no one in it. I to that room at the end, and I just snap on a fire in the fireplace. All right. Yeah, there's, the fireplace is massive, and it stands behind an anvil. All around the room are piles of iron ingots. Whoa. Um, hmm. Big oh, stacks well. of them. And you can also see uh, there are uh, barrels of what appear to be oh. uh, forged iron bands. Yeah, the, they for, would for, make for, their, for their kegs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is the fire a forge? Or? Uh, yes, okay. it is a forge. You can also see there is a side door that's open that leads to an adjoining room that's full of empty iron casks. Okay. For the brewery? Yeah. Okay, so it's just storage. And All right, yeah. hold on. And there is, maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe they aren't here anymore. Maybe, maybe the town came up and this place is empty. Maybe they shut down. Maybe this family left. That's the only thing that makes sense to me is they left and maybe the town didn't know. Maybe the, the whole clan went somewhere. For, or maybe for they a, went deeper in. Remember, remember that the place is said to be built on a mine. Thing. So what drove them down? Oh. Here, so so we, we have we have to roll back There's out. There's another exit out of this. Oh, room. there is. Yes. Oops. You see, to the left of the fireplace is a narrow staircase going up. Oof. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, let's let's finish this one out. Let's. Okay. Staircase. And, and it goes up to what appears to be. Another bricked up. What is going oh, on? Oh no! See, it's, here? This, this was just the two ways that you to get, get into oh, here. That's the and exit. They, they, they bricked off the whole brewery. So I don't think we need to bust through here again. We'll find the other end of I this. I think we, we're, before we get too far away from the yeah. other door, I yeah. think we should look at it. Yeah. yeah. Everybody yeah. make perception checks. Maybe if the brewer died, it was like the, the grandfather. And they didn't know how. No. A mess. I can't. De I can't yeah. detect anything. Yeah, I'm on twenty. I'm 14. just saying. I'm just saying that that's not twenty. Thirteen. Thirteen. Something okay. is not adding yeah, up here. Yeah, you don't here. shut down a successful. Omen, um, yeah. you are not surprised when you see out of the corner of your eye a large, a giant, really spider creeping up behind Jim. Uh oh. Why it not seems to have. It, it must have been living somewhere in, in the brewery. Uh, among the web <coughs> strewn yeah. kettles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, mechanically, you yeah. are not surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I see. Yes. I see. So, in that, mo you have a moment, essentially. Yeah. See, Jim, switch places. Uh, I've been nine okay. <laughs> All right, let's roll initiative. That was hot. No! Oh. Oh, Binwin. Five. Hell yes. Jim. Uh, 23. Holy smokes. Omen. Uh, I'm looking at a 17. And Viari. 20. 20. All right, so Jim, you bamf away, and when you turn back to look at Omen, you see there's a big monstrous spider looming behind him. Right. Uh, it must have come out of the brewery. I will 
Boy, I didn't know you were trying fireball. to prepare anything. Yeah, I guess we're going to fireball. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> uh, when you say monstrous, are we talking about the size of a pony or the size of a bear? A yeah, how big is it? Uh, it is... It is basically uh, bear sized. Okay. Jeez. Its body is bear sized, and then it's got a and bunch what of. What kind is it? Like that wolf spider, where it's oh, sort of man, more linear, those... or is it one of those fucking bulbous? I hate those wolf abdomen spiders. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They, or is they... it like a huntsman? Does it have the weird pedipalps? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is a web spinning spider, so it is very it... much. Uh... Spinner. It's got yeah. the bulb. Yeah. You got the bulb. Uh, all right. I'll do magic missile. Okay. This time I'm gonna do. Uh... Just unload. Yeah, this thing is a bear with giant spider legs in size. That's, that's gross. So I'll do three. Okay. Two dice. And beer spider. Beer spider. Ooh. Uh, five, six, Drunken eight. spider. Twelve. Okay. Damn. Uh, they cause the giant creature to recoil um, <clears throat> and uh, infuriate it on some level. And Viari. Um, I'll just close with it and attack. Um, I would have gotten a different offhand weapon mm-hmm. to use other okay. th- I mean, I have the Apocalypse right. Dagger on me. <laughs> you, would, you would use that, like, to cut bread. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so just, like, generic, generic dagger. Okay. Of plus zero. Plus zero yeah. dagger. Okay. Um, actually, I did... Not differentiate there, um, but I would make the biggest number be for your highest damage. <laughs> so um, that's a twenty-three. Why that's a hit? Okay, um, and I will let you pick. I did not say which is which is which <laughs> weapon. Uh, it's eight. Eight, you say. Okay, cool. And then, uh, Omen, um, you just saw Viari leap into the fray and start <coughs> hacking yeah. at this giant creature. You're standing right in front of it. Well, I was going to say, so well, I, t- I tell him to switch, and even, even, at, even before the transposition has happened, mm-hmm. um, the maul is, I've already <laughs> begun to raise it. And so I teleport in and just finish the... All right, <laughs> excellent. Finish the action. Bring it to bear. Here it comes. Bring it to the bear-sized spider. spider. <laughs> No! Oh, wow! It's nice. awful. Holy shit, guys! Yeah, it's this. It just comes down. Yep. It comes down. Splash. And so crit. Through. Right. So oh, and that, max my, damage, right? Well, and so you max. So you roll another. You roll the buff and die twice. Yeah, basically. exactly. Uh, but, but there's a bonus damage that's just like full damage, and mm-hmm. then I roll yes, extra. Okay. Correct. So we're t- we're starting at fifteen. Jeez. Ooh. Hoo-ha. Jeez. Um, 23, and then I get a D8 radiant. Good lord, 30 points! Okay, yeah, you you totally mash it, and there's a flash of radiant that just causes its head to sort of char and melt away. Uh, And then it collapses into a dead heap. This guy would be so gross. Thanks for the heads up, man. Yeah, hey, you know what? (laughs) Put it right back. All right, next. All right. What's next? (laughs) Good lord. Wow. Okay. Wow. Bam! And Ben right was like, what? what? Smote! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even turn around the king no. is looking at. He's like, I don't. I think yeah, Ben went on five, just like, whoa. <laughs> 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 trying every tap. One of these yeah. has to be good. <laughs> I, do, I do believe that one of them has to be good. And I think that it would be worth it. I could try all of them. I'm going to help. Okay. Uh, as you go from kettle to kettle and sample, um, uh, just make a perception check for me. It seems like, yeah, I mean, you're, you're going to know what's up here. Uh, 13. Okay. Uh, they have all gone, they've all been spoiled. I start heading back towards that first door we saw. Yeah. yeah we got to go, we got to go back. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, let's, let's roll back. Well, and they yeah. shut this down months ago. You shut this down and then leave? And, and then my them. people don't know and Maybe they come they here anywhere? Bested with spiders. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They see, they you see walls. one. No, it's gonna be. Like, it's like you, right? Yeah. You see one spider there. No. Nope. Close it down. <laughs> shut it down. down. <laughs> see one spider this big. Yeah. Fuck it. Okay. Exile. So, We're moving. Uh, so you're backing all the way out of yeah. the brewery, back through the shattered back, back, wall, exactly yeah. through the into the room area. with the torches, and then we can yeah. go up the stairs. 
up the stairs. Or no, there there was no uh, stairs. A it was, it was a different yeah, way out. Room. Okay. In that antechamber. All right. Yeah. So when you return to the antechamber with the dry fountain, um, and you go to the next set of doors, yeah. um, directly across from the entrance you came through. Uh, when you throw those open, you are greeted t- by a large chamber, vast, uh, and it has That's a. That's how I like them. It has a raised arcade. As soon as you walk in, there are two staircases that go up to the upper the deck. Upper deck. Yeah, they got dig dug yep. there. Oh yeah, it's a great arcade. And there are <laughs> there are almost ca- these sort of cathedral-like buttresses and pillars that um, line the arcade, and the arcade goes all the way around the other three walls of the room. At the very far end of the room is also a staircase that goes up to a platform that abuts the arcade. And there is something large there. It looks like a giant stone anvil. You think it's a symbolic or altar-like yeah. thing. Not, not in use, but a, a Correct. iconography. And it's flanked by two massive hearths that are burning. Fire is just pouring out of them. Fire. So it should be Zagarnezer hearths. Yeah, <laughs> you're probably right. Uh, the third one yes. we've seen. Yeah, you're probably right. It's, it's, it's fucking lousy with hearts. Now, All behind right. this stone altar up ahead is what... The heart used, stone, for lack of a better term. What, perhaps. Oh, oh. What used to be some sort of statue, sort of half embedded in the wall behind it, a, a giant statue. You think it was a dwarf or a representation of a dwarf. It has all been smashed away into a pile of rubble. Well, a giant dwarf, so is it just like... A dude size? Yeah. No, it's it's like a 13, 14 foot oh, tall okay. representation of a dwarf that has been pulverized. Recently? Um, so they, don't know. Hard to I tell. Mean, it's rocks. I mean, oh, is it like they're second. rubble? It's not erosion. So the, so the statue is fucked up? Like, yeah. No, defaced. Defaced. Yeah, defaced. Um, now, in front of this defaced statue and this stone altar shaped like an anvil. Yeah is a chair, and it's carved out of crystal, and there is a dwarf sitting in it. And uh, A real dwarf? What appears to be a living dwarf. Uh, you, can, you can't make him out exactly, but he is wearing armor. Uh, he's sort of slouched in the throne, and may actually be asleep, you're not sure, just based on his posture. Standing next to him is what appears to be a golem, a golem carved out of a combination of wood, iron, and stone. Oh, and you can huh. see that covering the golem are gemstones, nice. like set mm-hmm. into the golem, um, head to toe, all these gemstones. Viari, do you have anything for us here? It seems like this would have come up. Yeah, like the, 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 it's the story of yeah, the, your gem the robot. brewer's gem golem, like the, anything? <laughs> no. Uh, n- uh, Based on what you know about the Zagarnesters, they were uh, cordial, um, loving people. Hardworking, hard working, decent folk. But you they know, you loved, can't hold that they love their them. sex. <laughs> yeah. They love their sure. sex. They're freaks. Um, but you know, yeah. all the dwarves, you know, it's just uh, but they they, 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 yeah. they ran a they ran a good business and uh, yeah. they never they got along very well with the town. They always did. Um, occasionally they'd show up in the village uh, and deliver some of their ale, give it away for free, stuff like that. Um, Man, so, but, but I'm saying this is not ringing a bell for you. No, but you never, you you don't remember like Lord Negane- Zegernezer ever being like this, you know, an armor wearing guy in a crystal throne, throne no, with a gem covered golem at his side. That's. N- <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's, oh, it's like the old, it's the ancient song. Been good. Uh, yeah, probably. And uh, <laughs> as you look at the hall, uh, as I said, there are these raised arcades on either side. You notice that there are gateways on the walls of that arcade. Define like, that for me. I know it doesn't mean what an upstairs? arcade means in this. Uh, like the, ups- the, like the, the balconies to your left and right are made of solid stone. Yeah. And they have sides to them. And those sides are about 10 feet high. But what so is like, an arcade so in, like this, if, in this? Because I will admit, I actually don't know precisely what an arcade is either. So like if you. we're here on the ground, like a, I'm thinking yeah. of kind of like a mezzanine? Like yeah, it's like, mean, a oh, like a mezzanine. Like a mezzanine? Okay. Mezzanine. Arcade. Does that help? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is that better? Do we need another word? <laughs> Can you think of another word to describe an arcade or a mezzanine? So, varmints and arcade. Here Thomas. you go. Yeah. You guys yeah. entered through here, yes. past the fountain, into here. This is where you are. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you're standing here. There are staircases leading up to the mezzanine on this side. 
and the mezzanine here goes all the way around. And those gates are upstairs or downstairs? So they are on your on your Look level. At this shit heels hand drawn. Did you know? I want to make did sure. Did you draw camera? the stone in there? Did you yeah. hear yeah. that? Yeah. 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 I totally did. We talked Beautiful. about it before. I want you to look at this. This is he made all of this by hand for us yeah. to pretend and play. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, here's, he, he even went hard on the rubble. There, oh, yeah, that's man. that's the rubble of the the dwarf statue. That's the anvil. Um, anvil well, looking the at their heart. anvil, it um, almost looks uh, like there. So the yeah. dude is here. Okay. Basically. But his anvil looks like a crypt. That's big enough to be a sarcophagus. Yes. Yeah. Um, right. Very much so. Now the gates <sighs> are along these walls of the mezzanine. So they can go under the mezzanine. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. It's and on our floor. I see, I see. Each, okay. If they're on your floor, they're below the floor of the mezzanine, set into the walls. And these are little alcoves with Those like, are alcoves <coughs> with statues. dwarven statues in them, one okay. of which has fallen over or been pushed over and smashed. But the gates, you notice, they have carved archways and barred portcullises. Right. It seems like somebody did not like the beer. Came in here. Well, it seems like shit. this has not been so? inhabited in a while. This is no yeah. right. I mean, somebody's here uh, has been here literally within the hour to put those torches in those yes. those statues. But hands. by the same but token, before then, no one's been here for a while, and no. they, which is odd for you, at right? Least a, yeah, like at least a couple of months. And how to is shut he? Down. How is he armed? Uh, you do not see any. We don't see visible it. Lines. his hammer isn't laid. He has a golem. The, well, yeah, yeah, yeah two arms. Good. So. But there's, there's nothing yeah. leaned against the front. There's nothing. Not that you can see. Yeah, uh, there are two chair. empty stone chests to either side here. It looks like they were meant for like holding offerings and such. Yeah, but you don't well, see yeah anything clearly there's a, like a religious familial context for all this shit. I feel it's like Viari should be the one yeah. kind of introducing. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'm, I'm, I, I can be cool here. Um, clear your throat or something? Yeah, I'll, I'll go up. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go to the bottom of the stairs there. Once you get there, he actually turns his head toward you, uh, so he's clearly alive and aware of you. Um, and he is wearing plate armor uh, as he sits in that chair, but again, and he's got gauntlets on his hands, and he sort of clutches the armrests of his chair with his gauntlets. Uh, and uh, you can see he's a little bit odd because he is a dwarf, um, but half his face seems to have gone dead. Hmm. And Dentist. The, his uh, nerve. It, it's like he had a almost like he had a stroke, and one of his uh, left eye sort of stares off and down at a weird angle. Clearly not turned to you at all. Santa, not intentional. <laughs> uh, yes, he does. He and there is a Santa-like quality to him. He's got Loving. this with this white. He's beard. always watching you with his lazy uh, weird eye. <laughs> uh, yeah, his stroke um, vision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, 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 with his good eye, uh, he does sort of uh, fix it on you as you approach. Hmm. And the, you can see that the golem um, shifts ever so slightly. Grit. Yeah. Grit. Sounds like a flower pot moving across a cement floor. You got it. Yeah. Um, ch 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 chia. Uh, good, I don't know why that popped in my head. Like super polite, honorific for an... A, 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 an elder dwarf, a dwarf of a certain age. Dwarf of a certain <laughs> age. Uh, Lord. Uh, <laughs> it's not lawn ornament. I know that's 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 <laughs> their word. They they only they can call each other that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> lawn ornament. <laughs> those uh, are gnomes. <laughs> it's inside. Yeah, those are gnomes. Um, uh, I, I want to. I want to do it up a little better than oh sir. Like, like right. what, what do I? What, what? What would that be like? Uh, Lord. Well, Lord, I think Lord is the like, is, yeah. Lord is the classic thing. Yeah. He's yeah. really in some kind of crazy ass raiment. Yeah. But definitely rep the town. Yeah, like, uh, good Lord, I come looking for the people of Nightstone. Um, have they sought shelter here? Yes, they have. Ooh, he's got a cool voice. Oh. Uh oh. Could we. Are they safe? He says, They are in the mines. Could we. Could you take us to them? Uh. He says, Who are you? 
I, what do you want here? I grew up there. My family is from Nightstone. He says, they will stay in the mines until they have worked off their debt. Germans? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How have they incurred a debt to you? They came here seeking our protection, which we are more than happy to provide. Jesus Christ. Um, I would love to help make good on their debts. You wish to work in the mines. I... Fucking Werner Herzog. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Um, this isn't... They were supposed to be friendly guys, right? All, yeah. Uh, under new managers that have sex. <laughs> um, I think that stops. We still do. <laughs> um, I, have, I have much to offer other than mere labor. <laughs> what? What do you have to offer? What would you like? Uh-oh. He says, riches. Riches we can do. And I'll, I'll actually, at this point, it's like, I'm, I can, run a, I can wow. run a game on this Nazi yeah. dwarf. So like, I, at Nazi this point, I start, I start to get a little animated. I'll, I work, I'll like step up the stair and I go, I go, right I go. <laughs> we have, we have their, their euphemisms. Yeah. Uh, so like I'll I'll actually like kind of go up the stairs a little bit, you know, and I'll I'll say I'll say vast riches worth much more than labor. More than you can possibly imagine. Unskilled labor of townsfolk. Stop that! That's gonna be Star Wars. Right? Oh, wow! Cool. Good job. Uh, and uh, he turns. He man. sort of looks up to the golem and then back to you, and he says, "Do you hear that, Max? They bring us treasure." And he's oh, literally shit. covered in treasure. Called him Max. You're yep. fucking doing the black hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maximilian. Maximilian. What? What was? What was like? Granddaddy Zeggy's. Did, did I see him? Is he the one that came down? And, like gave out ale? Did I? Like do I recognize this guy? Uh, you do not recognize this guy, and okay. he bears no family resemblance to the Zagonezer clan. Um, I don't think he's. I don't, he's probably not even a Zagonezer person. I would ask him about the Might change have been. in. Yeah, there might Atmosphere. have been. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, this was kind of a cool themed place. Yeah. yeah. He had like weird posters on the walls. <laughs> Nicknacks, <laughs> posters. Antiques. I say, uh, perhaps we could discuss um, the particulars of what you are owed and what you would like over um, over some, some fine ale. Got wild uh, muskrat. You see him, you see him sort of clench the throne and he says, I detest ale. Okay, I was worried about that. <laughs> I don't drink wine. <laughs> <laughs> but so, so did he cover so it? He, up? he says he, he shut that whole side. The days of, of the Zagonesers are long gone. There will be no ale here. What's your name? I am Orlock. Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Orlock Iron Heel. Orlock? Now, guys, keep in mind that when Germans say nice things, they still sound really angry and creepy. <laughs> right. It's just the nature of being German. Just his name. It was a pleasure babysitting Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> so, he could be a good guy. Yeah. Do, you have, do you have any Iron Heel? Do you, do you know? You know do, I, do I know any Iron Heel lore? Let me make a history check. I'm going to make a. Who's <laughs> <laughs> who? Oh, 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 oh. I got. Um, oh, seems reasonable to me. <laughs> um, I think that's a real name. Six. I'm up. I'm up in like. That's 18. how little I know. I just say six. All right. <laughs> yeah. People are called that. Uh, you know, or you heard a, a story when you were young about uh, the Zagarnessers and their old clan rivals, mm. the Iron Heels. It's Ambersard situation. Mm. It does. So I guess they it lost. does remind you of the Ambersard situation. Um, My dad stopped drinking. Uh, one of the things you remember is that the dwarves yeah. didn't like the Iron Heels specifically because they were very undwarf like uh, they didn't like ale. Um, they yeah. No rumpy pumpy. Right. No, no beer. Yes. Um, Clean I'll shaven. Say, I'll say, I will <laughs> yeah. admit, I have not been home in a while, and I am delighted to hear. They cut their beards too short. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Straight instead of curled up yeah. the edge. Yeah. Um, I'll say, you know, I'm delighted to hear that there's been a change here. I go, the presence of. 
the Zegernezers in this area was part of the reason that I left in the first place. Congratulations. So this is a place of misery and hardship. <laughs> <laughs> this omen is just watching this slow motion train wreck. And I will. I'll, 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 I'm, every, I'm taking like a step forward and like and a step forward. Yes. Um, yeah, and you can you can how sense. How big is this golem? How what? How big is this golem? Eight feet tall. Plenty. There's a lot of golems. And it's it's like it's probably like eight feet by six feet. It's like a, a big gem encrusted wall. Yeah. It it looks like. Um, I'll just show you a picture. Just imagine this picture all blinged out with gemstones. It looks like that. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Mm. That's nothing that an apocalypse nice. dagger can't fix. Now, by the way, when the apocalypse dagger exploded, did that, like, fuck up the whole world? Like, what, <laughs> what was, was there so an, far? I don't know, apocalypse? apocalypse? Yeah. Well, you saw there was this bl outward blast, this ripple that went beyond the range of what you could see in the room where you triggered yeah. it. Um, it certainly did a number on Stradivon, and it would have completely consumed you had you not made that all-important constitution saving throw. Yeah. The particle accelerator. Yeah. yeah I'm going to have to read a book. The rest about of you this notice character. that Viari has inched his way up onto the dais, um, standing, you know, within 10 feet of the construct and Orlock Iron Heel. What are the other three of you doing at this point? Because you're still kind of back a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah. It's clear that the people came here for protection, for refuge, and were enslaved. And were, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Whoops. By Sorry, this guys. legitimately. I just rub my hand all against the mic. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. And it was like a revolving door. They walked in and he's like, yeah, I can help you. Go fucking get precious metals yeah. out of these rocks with this sharp thing. No, that, that's, a, that's a bad plan. But we haven't even seen any other dwarves. I mean, does he have any guards down there? Like, yeah, that's, maybe that's he's the I, only this guy. Is, this is what I can't figure out. Or is it this motherfucker and an army of these goddamn automatons? A horrible sounding low moan comes up through the, the portcullises yeah. um, and fills the um, throne hall. One moan? It's a, it's a long, protracted of <laughs> yeah. sound. Ah, oh, the veils of my children. <laughs> Sweet veils. music of the night. Oh. <laughs> Uh, clearly inhuman, clearly undwarven. Is it, un um, I mean, is it I undead? Know. I mean, with my substantial training, like, do uh, I think that there is a uh, uh, make an a, undead uh, you religion? Can make, you can make a religion check. Oh, because half of his face is dead? No, uh, because... No, I'm just wondering what type of count. shit we're dealing with. I just want to try to get any information I can. And I fuck it. Okay. So, I don't know anything about anything. <laughs> It's a, it's I'm going to be no good at trivia night. It's a chilling sound from the depths. That's all that you know. Hmm. Undead is a good call. Mm -hmm. Place of misery and torment. Yeah. Hey, face all, whatever. Yeah, so they might they might be getting these minerals and they may not even be alive. Well, I sidle up. As I'm watching Viari go up the steps, I sidle up beside Omen. Uh-huh. And I just say, you want me to charm him? Mm. I can, I can bat my eyelashes. You mean charm? You mean with the spell, or do you mean with your wiles? No, I mean a spell. I will. I can. I can try to charm him. If you try to cast a spell on him, I feel very confident that this is going to be the sort of situation that involves his robot. Mm. Um, I'm just tossing out ideas. I'm excited about I'm it. I'm spitballing. <laughs> There's no bad ideas. I have love to fight a robot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas time! And if I do charm him, then we can figure out what the hell's going I on here. I think it's clear that he's imprisoned these people. Yeah, it doesn't friendly. seem right. No, 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 there's, 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 no, there's no question. Yeah, so I, I like all this. I like, I like what I'm hearing. I, wanna, I mean, I want to get input like this, you know, <laughs> from the employees. <laughs> At our next this, meeting? Tuck this in the box. Okay. Um, That's in the suggestion box? Yeah, yeah, so you're still walking up. Yeah, no, he's no, up there. No, you're still walking up and doing this. And um, Got his hand I say, well, apocalypse dagger. I say, well, he is. This is this is a a villain. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I, I'm saying you have other spells. Oh, you don't. You want to dispense with the pleasantries? Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems to me. But if we can, if we can charm him and take control of his robot, that would be awesome. Let's try it. Let's start there. Let's start there. It's a place would, to start. I would advocate for bold maneuvers. 
but I'm willing to investigate this. Well, I'm not this. the chief of these men. Do yeah, you, yeah. Am I the only one that got that? <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay. I, listen, I was using the goblin terminology. No, I'm just saying, and what you, should I do, chief? Well, no, no. I, <laughs> by all means. <laughs> by all means. I, Mr. Dark Magic. Uh, please, please leverage your arcane might. This is all happening in front of this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're all, no, we're just down at the stairs. Yeah, so yeah, like, you're I don't, here. I don't know. You're I here. Should kill you're like, I want to fight a robot. robot. <laughs> right, like, so I walk up. Bidwin is just running a whetstone over his <laughs> <Yeah>. axe. <laughs> his I mouth am, is open. I am, I am the golem. He's salivating on a whetstone. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I walk up and I'm like. Uh, I do it from down here. Dumb! <laughs> and at the same time, I cast Charm. Okay. Uh, and I just fill this whole room with, doves. with white doves. <laughs> My cape is billowing. Right. Yeah. Yes. So you had all these doves tucked away for this occasion. Yeah, and then they just yeah. back in. And I kind of give a smile. All right. Uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. As soon as the doves go out and you cast the spell, you feel the spell energy get sucked out of you and <laughs> into the golem. And one mm. of the one of the gems on the golems lights up brightly and then goes out oh, and shit. burns you just out. Charm. This is good. So we have to dump low level spells into this fucking thing. And uh, hmm. uh, so your spell was just eaten. Didn't by even this. Get, didn't even have to roll against it. Nope. Wow. Uh-oh. Spell right. eating golem. I we could right. get one of those. Yeah. Invest. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, but I uh, knew I know that happened. Yes, you, so you, I relate you that. know exactly. Yeah. That he knows that and happened. Nope, he nope. knows that <laughs> happened. No, so that thing I don't even spells. stop my sentence, and I'm like, I'm just like, so how much money are we talking here? <laughs> he says, "We do not like spellcasters. You will leave." Me too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they, they're like I worst. give you my wands. <laughs> 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 you just like set them. I just on lay the... them over. Throw your robe over the top of him. So there's a piss, and now says, there's, and there's wailing from downstairs. Leave at once, or the max will flatten you. I go, one chance. You have one chance to walk out of here alive, and you're gonna waste it right now. Are you threatening me? Man, I'm gonna fucking kill you deader than fucking turn up here. <laughs> and I just, I just like fucking chippy, poof, and I'm gonna go ham on this dude. Okay. <laughs> Let us roll initiative. Yeah, that felt like I was rolling. I was, yeah. <laughs> Oof. Are you kidding me? I'm Chippy's gonna fucking the, kill you. Chippy, Chippy, I'm, I'm gonna. Chippy's, Chippy's your um. My owlbear. Your animated owlbear, right? Yep. Yep. Gonna beat you to death. And All right. Your blood from Bin a win. Fourteen. Fourteen. From your own boot. Jim. <laughs> Twenty-three. God, everybody. Oh man. That. Trump me out here. Uh, I got eleven. Diari. Uh, eleven. All right. So the catalyzing event here is Chippy appears. Yeah. Pfft, it's albino Albar. Oh, dude, it's, it's, it's going to be Albar on Gollum action. Put that on the fresco. I'm, I mostly I love Chippy because he uh, he can get me my flanking. Bonus. Well, he's a party starter. Oh yeah. There's no question. You, you know, you know, sure shit just got do. real. Uh, about this Gollum. If you if you use low level spells, okay. you're burning out. He's covered in gems. yeah, but it'll, it'll. How many gems are we talking those. about here? Oh, maybe a hundred. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay that's like a lot. Overload maybe, him. About, maybe, maybe like stay. Oh, like if you have wands, like it might not do like it might do a spell, but it might not do a wand effect. Mm. Like wand of wonder, if we have that. Still, I'm not. I'm not casting a wand of wonder. <laughs> no, not you. You, you should not wand of wonder. But uh, well, if, you have, if you have some other, because we don't know if it's storing these. Exactly, spells. but also Bedwin Bronzebottom has an ancient magic. It's um, called axes. In each hand. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Axomancy. Um, yeah, yeah. That's the other way to manage this thing, right? Yeah. But like for you, I don't know if you have any other like non straight up spell casting mojo. Not especially. Well, you've, you've got unicorn. Yeah. Oh, I have really. a dagger. Finally. Yeah. All right. Well, Jim, it is your turn. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm trying to figure out here. Uh, Stab him. I'm not going to. I have 30 hit points. <laughs> They're gonna run up and stab a golem. Well, here, here's here's the truth: is that <laughs> Tang. This is this is the fight that we understand it to be right now. Mm-hmm. It could be very shortly. Uh, this fight is gonna change in a radical way. Yeah. yeah. And spell casting is gonna become a very valuable well, resource. Can I back myself out of initiative here for a second? Sure. Yeah, you can hold. Yeah. Either that, or it might be a proximity thing. Maybe if you get like sixty feet away, 
or something like that. You know, it's, I'm not you charging be, in yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, right now, approach this in a I just had one of my way. spells eaten, yep. yeah. so I'm going to take a step back okay. and try to figure out what to do. Yeah, keep All your right. powder dry. Yeah. We'll do that later. Okay, the, yeah. the next thing to go is the shield guardian. Wow, that is a fast golem. Yeah, yeah. he's sort of surprising that way. All right, uh, so he will move up to you and bring his fists to bear. Bring it! Uh, natural one on the first Woo! attack roll. I love this. I am that intimidating. And oh. 12 on the second attack roll. He rolled oh, a 5 on the game of 12. That's not great. It's really bad, but we left out, so you're, you're So complete. you take, he just swings awkwardly at you, and you just deke out of the way. And My anger makes me swift. Yeah. <laughs> and Benwin. Benwin. All right, I'm going to rage. Yeah, flip All right. out on this. Your, your screams of rage echo throughout <clears throat> the chamber. What? Well, doors build chambers to... Echo rage. <laughs> yeah. to, echo to channel rage. it. Right yes. on your frequency. It's like the Hawks All nest. the rage noise bounces back right, at you. X, I swing the first one. I'm, I'm sorry, you're charging up and attacking the golem? Yes. Okay. Oh no, I, I'm attacking the uh, dwarf. Okay. Uh, uh, he's going to put himself in the mix. I mean, 16. If this is the right call. All right. Okay. Uh, when you go up and you charge Orlok, uh, the golem sort of interposes itself yeah, I was about this. and uh, blocks your attack. So you do not hit. Oh. So. Did he hit the golem instead? Yeah. He just blocks just it? Just flexes yeah. it? Oh. Yeah, so, you, so use your other attack on. On the golem? Yeah, just focus on him. That's a miss. Mm. Okay. Um. I'm gonna save my action surge. I'm not ready for that. All right. Yeah, I don't think we have a good understanding of this okay. fight yet. Okay. Uh, uh, next up is Omen. Okay. I'm gonna assume the Albuck was on your turn. Sure. <clears throat> yeah, I. Um, I'm I gotta. I gotta back up my people here. I think that. I think that the right choice is probably to help. Then when crush this mm -hmm. shield guardian. Okay. I think that's our big priority. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna bring it down. Uh, We've seen what you can do with that thing, so right on there. Let's hope it maintains. Okay. Um, so, so I'm, I'm gonna, this is the you the two-handed maul is just gonna keep coming down. Okay. This is this is a we're in a place you know where hammers have fallen with great frequency. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good. Nineteen. That hits. Okay, I'm glad to hear it. Um, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, but I can make an extra attack as a bonus action four times a day. Okay. So I'm going to do exactly that. Is that a pill you take? No. <laughs> That's for one hour. Wow. And, and if, 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 if you have extra action surges for longer than 90 minutes, talk to your doctor. Right. Um, so that's another, it's the same dice roll there. The first one is 11, this is uh, seven, ten. Ten points. Ten points. All right, thank you. And so these these are going these are this damage is being funneled into this thing. It's not getting, yeah you're you're actually it have smashing these three it. Three blocks. I wonder yeah. if it has like one of those a turn or something. Yeah. Hmm. It, it felt like it was taking a reaction in game okay. terms to, okay. to step in and block that attack. That's cool. Uh, and uh, yes, but when you hit it, you are clearly doing damage to it. Right. And uh, Viari. Um, yeah, I will. <clears throat> just to. I want to like look at the guy. Is he just like sitting there mm -hmm. at his on his like kind of just still chilling out, or is yes. he okay? Then yep. I will attack the golem. Guessing eleven is not going to swing it. I'm sorry, 14, 13, 12. Any of those numbers? <laughs> <laughs> None of those numbers are going to swing it. Okay. Oh, what happened between well, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Trouble wow, in yeah, paradise. What? Uh, I got a 24 on my offhand uh, weapon. That's it. Oh, and actually, I have dual wield, so that can just be like rapier and sword rather than using my dagger. Oh, so. sure. Okay. Um, Why not? <laughs> so. The rules are in your favor. Um. Let's see if I've shamed myself. Oh, I do have an eight sider. Hey. hey. Right. Oh, and um, oh, I would have been able to sneak attack, but I would have put that on my main attack, not the offhand weapon, which is what I hit with. So, Got it. Uh, that's eight. That's thirteen. Okay. Thank you. Still looks pretty solid. Yes. I'll take thirteen. Okay. Uh, and your Albert gets to make some attacks. I assume it's going after the he construct as well. Also, yep. With the trip. All right. 
you have the stats for him? Um, I know he gets two attacks. I think it's yeah. like uh, claw bite. I'll look it up here. Owly, where's Ari? There he is. Okay, right. One with its beak and one with its claws. You're plus seven on both attacks. Yowza. Hmm. Okay, uh, beak is the red die. Yeah. Dear chippy. 16? 16. 16, nope. no? Then he misses with okay. both. And okay, this is this yeah. is this shield guardian is. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He's a shield. Bad All news. right. I, I was ho sometimes it's with constructs like that. It seems like the spell magic might be neat, but if he's, he's just got gonna a fucking eat answer, spell magic. He, I, I, don't I, you, I don't want you feeding fucking third so get, level like, spells. Yeah. This asshole. Honestly, it, it it if anything that magic might just straight up heal it. So like, yeah. let's just fucking powder this thing. I can take a couple of hits. Okay. Uh, Do you have any spells that create something that does damage? Well, yeah, I, I was I think thinking, as soon as, he as does, soon as I try to do gonna, it, as soon as I try to create, cast that spell to create something, he's just going to eat it, right? Because he wasn't even casting it on the yeah. golem; he was just bringing it I in don't, the actually, air. I don't want you here at all. Why don't you? Why don't you get high? Mm -hmm. My solution for everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, don't, why don't you get up? Get out of this fight. Mm -hmm. Get up here. Let's try to find the range. Try to cast these spells outside of this range and see if it's see if it has to do with that. Or if it has to do where the spell effect is. You basically yeah. have to be our fucking Albert Einstein like wizard scientist. Can I is it back to me? Uh no, actually oh. I was gonna say it's Orlock's turn. Uh oh. Uh, uh so uh Orlock just looks at the golem and uh you see him um uh sort of cast his one good eye up to Max and he says, Hurt some, hurt some hard. Hit them hard again. Wow, so he really can't, he's, he is just directing. Yeah. Stroked out. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have uh, the, and the so, he's not swinging anything. No, no I don't think no, so. No, he's barely even moved. Okay. Uh, so the, go the golem thing takes two swings at you again, missing. And that's yeah. a 17. No. Not quite. God, All right. looking, I'm so glad he hates you. Yeah, I'll take it. He, he'd, be, he'd be putting me into the ground with those. All right, the big lumbering construct misses. Uh, at this time, I'd like everybody to roll uh, Perception checks. When you say this time, do you mean the holiday season? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tis the season. Tis the season for Ooh. perception checks. Oh mm. my god, a zero. Oh boy. Oh. 17. 15. <laughs> a zero. Wow. I fell asleep. 15. 15, <laughs> 15 17? <laughs> 17, yeah. All right. Omen and Jim, uh, you guys can see uh, a person, a new person has arrived on the scene. The doors behind you were left open. Yes. And there is a dwarf woman <gasps> standing in the doorway. And she's got a bowl, a steaming bowl, in her hands. Uh-oh. Um, and uh, uh, she is, uh, for a dwarf, a lovely, well-rounded creature. Comely. Um, comely. She's got very long, uh, lustrous, beautiful, uh, beautiful flowing, flowing hair. Uh, no beard. <laughs> Do we think it's Maybelline? Uh, but Maybe. she's but she's uh, she's kind of plainly dressed. Um, oh, hold on, one moment. Wait a minute. <laughs> Very nice. Did you yes. set that up? Well, no, I didn't of mean not. to. Well, I wait, didn't mean where to. did Maybelline come from? Well, her no, long flowing her hair. Her long flowing hair, and yes. I was like, I was like, you know, I was in, in my I was picturing like the commercial where the hair is like. Is it and Maybelline? Like, you, and then yes. the maybe. And then the maybe. Yeah. yeah. It's too good. On it. Good night. It's, it's too good. That was so good. We're done. It's I'm sorry, no, we can play Dungeons and Dragons yeah. no, that's It great. was very well done. It's like, I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy ending yeah. here. We didn't even laugh, we just stopped. So <laughs> I know, that's sweet. Joke. You know, it's really good. Yeah. It's like, I nailed it. Yeah. Uh, so she's just standing there. Um, but one of the things you notice right away about her is... A caretaker? She could be. Um, I think the term is soup maiden. Mm. Soup maiden. Yes. You know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, she's got blank eyes. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, fucking thralls. Yeah. Hmm. Is she wearing anything obvious? Is she wearing anything? Yes. Uh, no, I mean, she a, is clad. A circlet, a, um, a necklace. She a, has a gold circlet around her neck. Yeah, or this head. Is, Sorry, not neck. Right? So we think that she's in. I wonder. In some I wonder. Kind of I, I, and, and presumably the rest of them down there are also right. in a similar situation. And sorceled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you will, yeah. I would know. <laughs> but she's, she's sort of stopped in the doorway and kind of has this worried, a little bit freaked out expression mm -hmm. on her face. Like, She's trying to make out what's ha this was, wasn't what she was really? expecting to find. Okay. She's just bringing the guy a suit. Okay, so she's conscious. Yeah, she is conscious at some level. Maybe go try to. And uh, yeah. it is Be Jim's soulful. turn. Uh, and she's at the door. Yes. Can I? Looking rather befuddled. As my action, run towards the door. You know, go towards the door, 
and use Arcana to, to kind of sense the edge of the effect of that sure. golem. Just go as Ooh. far as you can. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Your, uh, the broom might be a good way to... Yeah, I want to try to get the door as quick as I can. Okay. This is plus seven. Yeah, 19. 19. Okay. So, let's see. When you get to here, you realize you're out of the effect. Okay. And you, you think that's about 60 feet away from the dwarf and his construct. What's your range? Yeah, it depends on the spell. I'm a spell sniper, so I double all ranges. Hey! Yeah. Well done. Yeah. This yeah. is great news. American <laughs> spell sniper. <laughs> that's American right. spell sniper, yeah. that's awesome. And uh, then it is uh, the shield guardian's turn. Um, it is fixated Bring on it. you. Yeah. Feeling good. No. No. Oh! Merry Christmas. Holy crap. <laughs> this is the best. Okay. This is good news, with, man. So you've seen a hose from down here. I can unload. Just artillery. Yeah. yeah. Ben, when? <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna swing. This time, I'm gonna just dump it in there. Oh shit. Uh, Jim, as you as you whisk room, past that uh, dwarf woman, advantage. she could feel you going past it. Well, while you're, there, while you're raged. Yeah. Yes. The uh, and she kind of looks, but doesn't know where you are. Okay. And now that you're close enough to her, you can see that she's blind. Hmm. Oh, she's not oh, thralled. She's blind. She's blind. All right, first attack. We're crap. What, what, what's what's the plus? Uh, seven. So nine plus seven is uh, 16. sixteen. Not, so enough. not no, dice. Okay. So that's a twenty. Yes, that's going to do it. Okay. Yeah, it's got to be up there. He's tough. So. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention. This is important, actually. Uh, yeah. At the end of the Shield Guardian's turn, it seemed to start reconstructing itself. Oh, of course it, it does. It has a regenerative effect. Oh, shit. Well, I did six points of damage. Okay. Uh, eight points of damage. Excellent. And I'm going to take my uh, yeah. action surge. Yep. Juice. Crit. Oh! That's Ooh. what we need. That we need the nine crit. hits. So, I, how does crit work again? So you max out, you do maximum damage, and okay, then roll so an additional die, weapon die on top of it. 14 plus. There we go. 19. Uh, 19. 19 plus um, yeah. two, one radium. So excellent. 20 points. All right. 21. You, it's a big hit. Yep. You bash it and Should batter it. 21, I think. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Right, good. Yeah. Okay. Um, it, it rocks and reels from that, but it's still holding together. Dang. Just fine. And then uh, it is Omen's turn. Okay, I gotta, I gotta keep going over there. Is the trouble? So if I can make an extra attack, does that mean that I have to have made an initial attack, or is this a bonus attack? You see what I mean? Does it only happen if I do an initial attack and then I can yeah. add that? Yeah. But could I just add that? But if I did something aside from attack? No. It's, it's, it has to be because I'm fighting. Yes. Because of my war god thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, you get an extra attack when you attack. Gotcha. Gotcha. I gotta, I gotta keep working this yeah. thing over. I just have to keep working it over. You this... don't want to be super close to it. <laughs> <laughs> you hear from the far side of the room. <laughs> hey, Not that I should hey. tell you this, but oh. because I did, so I, I did this wrong. So I did rage, but yeah. I also reckless. That's what gave me the advantage. Okay. So he has advantage against me for this next. Turn, oh, I see. Okay. Just so you know. On, All right. On his two attacks. Well, ho hopefully he'll continue to keep pushing right. it on you. Because I'm so um, pretty. Yes. So I'm gonna just try to dump as much damage in there as I can. Uh, with them all. Mm, That's good. 20? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you piece of shit. Four. Uh, that's seven points. Okay. Gross. Uh, plus 1d8. So five more. Okay. And then I'm going to use my extra bonus attack, which is another. It's, oh, shit. Is that it? 19? That'll do shit. it. Thank God. Really don't like You've been this. hitting on those I really 19s. don't like this thing. Like it's like it's designed perfect. That's pretty good. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Excellent. It's just it's designed to fuck us up. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, with that hit, you can feel like you you should have done about half of its damage now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I, I found I can see some yeah. gears in there. Yeah. It's not running as uh, well, smoothly as it is. Until it regenerates, right? That's, yeah, why exactly. to, that's why you have to hit it. All right, and then Viari. So I saw this thing. Like it effectively has like a muscle twitch response to like block for for that's correct this dude. <clears throat> Can I do I think I could maybe like take advantage of that 
like effectively like pull a little bit of a feint to get it to twitch so I could maybe get advantage on my attacks? Could Against. I do something? Oh, he, he means lure it with a false, with a fainting attack at the dwarf that would expose it so that he could. So you could actually turn your true attention. Yeah, on like it. like just f- trick That's it into cool. behaving I this think, way. I mean, I'm not the because yeah, I know it's, I know it's going to do that. But also, I, I'm invested in the idea that it continues to think you're the primary threat, yeah. while Scott and I just fucking pulverize it. Exactly. Right. So continue because it's, it has to focus on its. On it, or what it's guarding, right? So, like, I would actually, if I, if it's what it would take, I would waste my secondary attack, uh, which is going to be weak, so that maybe like my sneak attack sure. could get sense. advantage. This uh, is a great you... idea, and I endorse it. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yes, you absolutely can do it, but I'm going to require a deception check. Okay. Mm. Um, based off deception. Perf... Uh, charisma. And oh, and deception. Yeah, you have okay. deception bonus, and you you'll forego your second attack regardless. Yeah. Okay. Of this result, that is not great. Mm. That is not. It's not. It's not super persuasive. Mm. All right, it's a great oh. idea, but the golem did not fall for it. It's, it's probably designed yeah. to not be yeah, fucked around with. It it's probably part it of its code. It wasn't your two, I don't think. No. I think it Fifth has to be designed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's an asthma shit. Don't Actually, it, it should be opposed by its insight check. So let me make an insight check for it. Whoa. Well, that's a pretty good oh. roll. 17. Yeah, yeah. It has a PhD. If it's going to make a roll against me, I'd <laughs> it prefer like it to be that roll. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, it's blue. It's real smart. So just It'd be my yeah. regular attack. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh. God, man. All right. <sighs> your DPS. Fortunately, you have your owlbear. Oh, my owlbear. Come on, Chippy. Make me proud. Uh, so 19. Hit. 19 that would be with the bite. Beak. All right, and it's gonna. I'm just gonna take average damage. Red dice. So it does ten. Yeah. Beak. Ten on the beak. Right. So what do you got there? Oh, I think it's. Is it uh, on Orlock's Orlock? turn? Yes. Iron heel. He, uh, he uses his uh, his Sticks leadership. Stick his hand down his pants. <laughs> Stick his hand down. him. <laughs> Stick his hand down his pants. <laughs> Burn him more. Yes, he directs the golem uh, once more to attack you, Vri. Okay. Ooh. One okay, of those so might one, me. one is probably gonna hit with a twenty-three. I could silence him. Mm-hmm. And oh, that's right. He gets a, bu- but that would be a spell. I I could t- I would have to use it my turn to do it, but if I silenced him, he wouldn't be able to issue this command. His turn would be garbage. But the I spell could, would be eaten by the guy. I can take that's a couple. True, that's true. That's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah, I can take a couple of hits. Oh, we'll see. Damage. All right. Uh, oh, so, this is the worst damage. Yeah. He, wow. He did bad damage. Uh, so that is going to be a mighty nine points of bludgeoning damage. Um, and when he hits you, you feel an explosive force of magical energy in that blow. Oh. Um, which it's buffed. <laughs> it oh. is buffed. Oh, it's it, it tastes like a cardamom. being fireballed <laughs> by Jim. <laughs> I, I, I can I know this magic flavor it's like <laughs> damaging me. Leak ash. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but um, it, like I said, it only did a paltry, what did I say? Nine. Right. Um, nine I will nine. actually still use my evasion. Um, not evasion, uncanny dodge. Okay. For, so you for reduce it to four. Yeah. Just a glancing blow, really. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, Jim? So I'm outside the range now. You yeah. Uh, then I am going to, but she's standing right in the doorway. She is. But you can shoot past her if you had to. It's a big enough door? Yes. Okay. Fair warning, all three of us are right up on this thing. So you're all within we're melee. melee. Yeah. We're, we're, we're banging on it. Yeah. So you want something to target. That changes the spell then. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do fire bolt instead of fire Okay. Ball. Good choice. Your fire bolt uh, streaks so forth. this is plus seven. Mm. Mm. Probably not. Nope. What wow. damage is fire bolt? 2d10. That would have been great. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it's okay. So you, with your dice mm-hmm. and your plus, that's 12? Yes. I'm going to issue the War God's Inspiration. Okay. Um, what do I get to do? No, I can't because you're not close enough. Oh. This fucking encounter is designed ah. to give us, take us right to the bone zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in the bone zone for sure. It's all right, you'll get another chance. Do you watch My yeah. Brother, My Brother and Me? Is that, was that a reference to? No, no, okay. I just love that zone. <laughs> just right. love the bone. I, it uh, it yes. doesn't surprise me. So that your firebolt like goes astray. Okay. Uh, uh, do you have any other th- anything else you can do? Uh, I would like to. Can Please. I just like say uh, everything's okay to the, yeah. the lady in the door? She, can she hear me from where I'm at? Yes. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just like you know, I want to back out of the room. Everything's fine, but <laughs> she says, "Go back to your room." Okay. Yeah. And she'll 
She'll take the soup. 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 You want some soup? Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> leave the soup. Is yeah. That, leave is the that soup. chicken dumpling. It smells soup. super good. Soup. What is that? She'll put the Family soup recipe. down on the floor. Okay. And uh, nice. soup, wine, muskrat. <laughs> Third this night. night is turned into the best <laughs> night ever. And uh, she, explosive. Yeah. She just kind of uh, nods uh, demurely at you and makes her way back over toward these doors, which okay. are currently open. I'm done. All right. Maybe five. And <laughs> maybe maybe <laughs> the Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, sorry, not Binwin. Yeah. Construct. Yep. Bring it. All right. Now this is a new turn, right? Uh, this is because his was the beginning. Yeah, his of, is the beginning of. Yeah. Um, so we'll take two swings at you, VRA. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, 24s. So good. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Uh, he does 22 points of damage with the first attack. Okay, I'll have oh, that one with, with the uncanny yeah, why dodge. Don't you? That's a great idea. There we go. That's more reasonable. And he does 12 with the second, which you take all of. Okay, I'm still okay. All right. So Barry gets a little rocked. Yeah. And then Binwin. Good lord. You need to kill this thing, man. I know. We're ha- he's halfway. He's oh, halfway. And the so you're raging. The so Ar- you Guardian get... got back some hit points. Ah. But so you get two. You get three oh, hey, attacks when you're raging. Is that right? Huh? Two. I get two plus two damage while I'm. Oh, okay. Raging. Yeah. No. But that's a hit. So oh, that yeah. is a hit. Oh, yeah, it's team. Uh, burp. Mm. What is with this eight-sided dice? <laughs> uh, Pretty weak. So seven points of damage. Wow. Okay. Now, when I crit on a 19, that's not with the plus. It has to be a natural 19, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are, do you have any other things you want to do? Um, can do? No, I already okay. used my action surge. Omen. Kill this thing. Such a pain. Because he's chewing on the spells. I say we just grit it. We just yeah. keep we keep just have to pounding just keep it down. Pounding it. I don't know yep. what else I could do. Into the earth. No, anything. We're we're doing the right thing. Any it's just, damage. It's designed. Take a bonus action for a third attack. I, I thought I remembered you doing that. I'm pretty yeah. sure you can. I think I, I just heard Fail Hour go, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in, the other room. in your heart. You I do this every time just so I know that, he's then. spinning. Huh? You can you can raise all that now if you want. Yeah, yeah. Just you just, just throw, throw your third dice. Yeah, but you know, you wrote the game. It's <laughs> legit. Could you, you tell me? Uh, you are the master of your own character. Yeah. Oh, well there then. we go. That's, hey, a, that's, that's a, a crit. That's a crit, that's a crit too. Crit. Yeah, that's a crit. Delicious. Right. So bring, bring on the damage and do yeah, your thing. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So you got... Uh, so... 12, 14, 16. And then you, and then you, and then you, and then you roll dice. an extra weapon dice. Yes. Yeah. Plus... Nice. 21. Oh, that's a nice hit. Okay, that's juicy. Yeah, 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 that's the real stuff. Yeah, you, that thing starts to make Finish funny noises now. All right. Uh, I, I, as I heft the, uh, I the never max. believe it because three per round seems really it does seem crazy. ridiculous. Bonkers, that's, that's right? That's what you're for, though. Yeah. you're that guy. You're, you're like, shredder. you're like. I the, also um, forget that we're like level up there now. We're level we're good. Like, like several. Yeah. No, no, no. Levels. You're basically like a Vitamix. I'm an eight. <laughs> yeah, I'm a <laughs> for fighter barbarian. I'm a um, Vitamix. So uh, the good one, like with the big reservoir. Right. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna come after him. I, I grunt my approval uh, at that strike. I'm gonna try to bring it down. Oh, oh, oh that's goodness. the one, isn't it? That's the one. That's my hey, look at this. Love that. Check that branding. Very nice. Um, uh, so that did not. Even that, when you lose, you win. Yeah. That did not hit. Um, but I can make more attacks, so it's okay. Uh, and I'm gonna. Oh, oh, one and a two. I, I had such a good run there. Classic yeah. Roman. I had, yeah, 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 really. Yeah. We're taking it yeah. back in the day. Um, well, that was all a complete nightmare. How many more hit points do you have? I'm good. I can take at least one more round of abuse. Wow. Okay. Even if it comes at me hard. Um, I'm just going to straight up attack it, and the, the my sneak attack will be on the on the main attack. Okay. Hey. Yeah, that'll hit. What are we looking at here? So that will be... Ten, twenty-five points of damage. Hey! Holy smokes. Yep. Jesus. See, that's wow. why you get three yes. attacks, because my... my uh, otherwise, yep. why would anyone play other anyone other than Sneak Attack Boy? Okay, this thing's on the ropes. Oh, and Chippy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chip. Come on, put that beak chip, in there. Chip. Get that beak! Get that 14 claw. plus 7. Yep. That's a hit. Okay. Claw hit. Uh, so the claw's going to do 14 points of damage to it. All right. Uh, and 
it crumbles. Oh. Woo! Man, that was rough. Yeah, that was rough. It falls into pieces, and uh, Orlok looks down at the wreckage of uh, the creature and says, Max, you have failed me. <laughs> Even now! <Wow. laughs> Even Wait, now. Commit to the bit. <laughs> uh, you're going to take us on a tour of your work cavern. <laughs> <laughs> um, We're gonna check for OSHA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're, gonna, you're gonna leave nothing out. How do we open these gates and what's moaning down there? He says, I am dying. Why should I tell you anything? Because right now you're dying pretty comfortably, from what I can see. <laughs> <laughs> see at we this, can change that. At, at, this, at this point, it's entirely about the um, rate and severity. <laughs> um, you seem like a practical man. Um, I think I'm a person that you want to make a deal with right now. Uh, your legal counsel is in a huge pile, <laughs> <laughs> so you wanna you wanna you wanna work with me. I, I'm extending you an offer here. You win. You're right. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to maintain that policy. How do we open these? How do we open the portcullis? Uh, you see his crystal chair begin to float. Uh oh. Uh, no, did we actually this, win or did we lose? No, I think this is just how he moves. Yeah, he's oh. got to get around. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, all your weapons come up. <laughs> we just kill him. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he begins to kind of glide across the floor. Yeah. Uh, and kind of go down weirdly down the stairs. He's the dwarven Charles Xavier. Right. Yes. To me, my ex dwarves. Right. And goes over to the gates. Um, I'm. I'm not above taking some of the gems out of this golem no, pile. No, no, no. Oh, indeed, sure. indeed, you were being yeah. just, actively just, directed I mean, just to get a f- them. A f- but, but then, I, I'm, I'm not going to sift the whole thing, but if there are a few there, I will take them. And when he gets to the gates, um, uh, he kind of turns his chair to face you and he says, the miners say there are some monsters in, in the mines. You... That, well, it's a good thing you're going first. You son of a bitch. <laughs> He says, that does not concern me, but it might concern you. You saw what we did to your golem. Yeah, we'll, I guess we'll see how it goes. Okay, I think we've got some spectral things going on yeah. here. This is, good. this is going to be you boys. Ghostess. Yeah. yeah. But listen, if we can he cast says, spells, it's going to be a huge plus. Yeah. 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 Plus. Frankly, I am tired of their pleas and their cries to be released. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine it's exhausting. <laughs> Um, well, let, let's, let's creep. Yeah, he's the worst. <laughs> he's the worst. I don't, I don't know what the the dwarf is. This is like the dwarven version of like the old folks' home. Can you it's not like a, walk? Is that why you're floating around? Oh, that's rude. That's not cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he says he's a slaver. <laughs> <laughs> I can walk, but it is hot. I dispel his chair. <laughs> 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 uh, all right. Uh, when you cast the dispel, the chair goes clank, clank, clank down, Aww. and he sort of falls onto the floor on his side, <laughs> and is just sort of now cr- uh, grasping at the uh, floor tiles with his gauntlets. That is dark. This, yeah, dude, this is the darkest. <laughs> that is yeah. dark. Keep up the pace. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He's, he's trying to get to his feet and uh, having a great deal of trouble. He's probably in a very complicated situation. <laughs> <laughs> he said he could walk. You have to. He, you, are, you are his crutch now. No, what? we can't. We can't have the mage there. I'll fucking haul him up. I'm gonna scruff of the neck him. Okay. Uh, he is a lot heavier than you would anticipate. Mm. Oh, he's, 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 about well, he's, yeah, he's canned, right? He, yeah, he's canned. He's he's wearing armor and he's a sturdy Take his dwarf. Armor off. Is he wearing a knife or anything? Uh, he is wearing. Um, you gotta check him. Uh, he isn't carrying any weapons that you can see. Okay. But underneath his breastplate, you see a chain around his neck, and whatever it's, whatever it's hanging from it is underneath his breastplate. And when you kind of pull on that, it's an amulet. And that amulet seems to be made out of the same materials as his golem. Okay. Oh, so it's a spell that was healing? Yeah, either that Rip or that it was, that yeah, was his, like, the, the amulet of control or whatever. That's maybe what tied Find him. out what it is. Yeah, is it? you grab the amulet and do an arcana check. Woo! Oh my goodness! And I got one of these. Jesus, oh, man. <laughs> when, you, when you open your closet, it's like yeah, five I've been of trying these to get the green one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you it's believe yeah. you, you believe right away that this is indeed or was the control amulet for the shield guardian golem. Okay. Uh, we don't know would, if he has any more down there. Um, that you would he would have mm-hmm. needed it to basically make it do what he wanted it to do. Okay. Yeah, I pocket it. Okay. All right, uh, and he says a command word, Vraxla, and the gates lift. Um, 
I speak or, Dwarvish. Sorry, they, they retract. I speak Dwarvish. Yeah. So I want to make sure that <laughs> I want to make sure that um, I know that word. Okay. It's inflections, intonations. So in okay. case I ever need to do this, it's ready to go. All right. Yes. Yeah, so the gate parts. It opens, and you see beyond the gate a tunnel ramp going down into the ground. So uh, when you picked up, when you pick up Orlock off his feet, yeah, um, Omen, you notice that he has a wound on the side of it. It's healed over. It's an old wound. It's a scar now. A scar, an really, injury. on the side of his head, uh, above uh, one of his temples. Um, it's a pretty nasty scar, but it's over the sort of dead part of his head. Well, as a cleric, I mean, I have pretty substantial experience with injuries. I messed up this map before we roll up. See. No, that's uh, uh, they'll still like it. you authenticated they'll, they'll it. They'll still yeah. like it exactly. Now it's true. Get some of your hair on there. Yeah, um, but my what? Yeah, but, but, I, but I, have, I have I have your obviously hair. Yeah, I know there's hair on there, Chris. My what? Get some in the dark. Dude, we're learning a lot about wow. Chris Perkins. Dude, Dude, you gay? Leg hair? <laughs> no. So it's like this. Um, as a cleric, and certainly as a cleric of the war god in the war domain, I'm thinking that. I probably have some experience with injuries like this. You I mean, do. Do I, do I think that this is military I'm in nature? I'm a tough, smart cleric. Yeah. Do you have a head injury? Make a medicine yeah. check. No, no, it's, a midnight, it's, a, it's that midnight yeah. commercial. Call me. Have you been injured? Omadran. <laughs> One medicine check coming up. Have you been damaged by a war god? <laughs> <laughs> I can help. Call me Omadran. Uh, but they're always 23. Specific. Uh, yeah, you do think it is like a military <laughs> wound. Uh, yeah. You would venture to guess that it, it's an arrow wound. Oh. An arrow wound? Yeah, like he got shot in the yeah, head. Yeah, shot in the fucking head. Yeah. And do, do I think that that's related, to, that's connected to all these injuries? Like, You think that could have a... You, you think being shot yes. in the head with German. an arrow? That's not even German. That's the arrow that made that <laughs> accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just, it altered his consonants and vowels. Yes. That actually has happened sometimes. People get head wounds. And get an accent? And get an accent. Yeah, oh, really? Yes. Oh, yeah. Awesome. yeah, there was there was an article about a woman in um, Texas. Uh, who, had a, who had a head injury, and she she spoke with a Texas drawl, and after the surgery, um, spoke with a British accent. Yeah, yeah like it's a good weird. one. No, or it, like one that she had learned from television. That, that, that's, <laughs> that's it doesn't make any sense. sense. Yeah, it makes no yeah, sense. Yeah, what was it like? Hello, governor. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like like just having fun. Like Dick Van Dyke out of Mary Poppins. <laughs> yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's kind of going in and out, but also whenever she sneezes, she has an orgasm. This is a real. Oh, wow. It's just some brain thing. Yeah. yeah. Read the book, The Man Who Thought His Wife Was a Hat. Was a hat. I was just going to recommend it. It's an amazing it'll book. We all feel, love this book, Michael. It'll scare the so, shit yeah. out of you. Don't read it. If you have any kind of anxiety or previous anxiety, it just makes you really scared about oh, your brain. Oh, then no, I'm going to skip it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, anyway, so he was... Yes. He was he he had a run in with an arrow. Yes, at some seriously. point. And the, based on based on the nature of the. Do I see the arrow had, around anywhere? Oh no no okay. no no! You don't see the arrow around. But uh, what was your check again? Uh, Twenty three. With that great roll, you think that the arrow head might still be in there? No, oh, God. Just when you wish you had a big magnet. Yeah, exactly. Or science. Or science. Oh, science. <laughs> the way the scar sort of has overgrown and. Uh, if only magnets have been invented yet. Do I? God, do I think that? Do you think somebody that could afford a big golem like that? Oh, but he hates magic. Yeah, right. <clears throat> wow. See, this is, he's an anti-vaxer. Effectively, he's, <laughs> he's yeah. fucked he's himself. Magivax. Mag magic is bad. I'm like, dude, you have metal in your yeah. head. God, this is that, some third-level curative shit. I mean, magic causes. Hold on autism. a second. Is that? <laughs> did that magic create? Have, do I know anything? Magic causes autism. <laughs> we don't know for sure. <laughs> it might. All I know is that my kid <laughs> loves David Copperfield. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my kid started pulling ribbons out of his mouth. Next thing you know, so he, he has been kind of leading you down this ramp into the mines uh, as you've been observing him, um, having trouble a great deal walking. But actually, right. VR is kind of. And helping. you know, actually, if if he, if dude is heavy and I'm helping him out, I'm like, is this like plate armor? Yeah. Oh God, it's such a pain in the ass to get people out of plate armor. Mm -hmm. I dispel the armor. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I eat the armor. Here, we're, we're going to do a couple things. We're going to do a couple things. Yeah. Okay. One, um, we're going to find a relatively flat part of this gradient and roll we, him down it. We, we, exactly. <laughs> Huge time savings. <laughs> Fun for him. No, we do a couple things. First of all, we're going to reduce some of the weight ah, by removing Lieben. by removing the arm part. We're going to. He's going to keep the breastplate. Okay. But we're going to lose a bunch of the rest of the plate. 
Also, you need to use your um, um, hit die to regenerate some health because that'll That's save true. us spells at. Okay, that, that'll yeah. save me spells short in the middle of a fight. Right, 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 exactly. So uh, technically speaking, we're talking about short rest. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna show my my ignorance of this aspect of the new system. Yeah. So I have eight hit dice because I'm eighth level. So how does this work? You get so, to roll them. You get to roll them. Yeah, you, you can decide that you want to use some of those hit dice now, roll those dice, and get that many hit points back. It's like okay. a self-heal, but during a rest. But during a rest. And this exactly. is all that hit dice are used for? Uh, pretty much. And okay. you decide how much of them you want to use. And you can do it. You don't have to use them all, all at once. Okay. You can, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying that this will, this will help this pop you off. This is a really yeah. good, good time for and that. Another important detail is each die that you roll, you also get your constitution bonus added to it. Lovely. So juice. If you roll, like, all, you want to use all eight dice for some reason, that'd be like eight dice plus 16 hit points. Right. Okay, then yeah, I'd probably use at least a few here. Yeah. So that's six, that's ten. I'll do use at least another two. Hey. I think that'll do okay. me, so I used four. Yeah. Okay, and so we're also reducing weight on him. I, I want to make sure that he's got some protection because it's of value okay. to us. And what if it's keeping him alive? <clears throat> yeah, it, it, what if it's like, it's, it's either like the Iron Man suit. It's like the Iron Man suit, um, yeah. Could also be like the Golden Throne of the Emperor. Um, there's, a, there's, a few, there's a few fictions we could leverage here. Do I, have I ever heard tell of something of a wound that had a remaining piece in it that altered a person's personality. No. Okay. That was pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, had, I had to, I had to try. Not when we, when we shuck when we shuck some of this stuff off of him too, I'm also gonna With some of his skin. <laughs> give this guy a once over. Like I don't want him pulling out like flask of acid or right. yes. surprise okay. stabbings. Yeah. He yeah. has no weapons on him of any kind. Yeah, dwarven Viari killer. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. The ramp that you're on ends after about 30 feet and comes into an underground chamber that is partially hewn, partially unhewn. Nice. Uh, there are piles of debris uh, sort of pushed up against the walls to leave most of the floor space clear. There are a number of exits. Uh, one of them right across from you is a rough tunnel, just like a mine tunnel, really. Mm -hmm. um, but there are two other exits of worked stone through which passes a minecart track. It goes, it enters through one and leaves through another. There are also two branches on the minecart track here that are just short dead ends. So there's like one track that goes through and then two that sort of come off and just come to dead ends. But that's just where it happens to be. That's just where it's at now. Yeah, and parked at one of the dead <coughs> ends you see is a minecart. An iron. Right it's, made of, yeah. it's, it's made of iron and it's got wheels, but in order to get it onto the main track, you'd have to sort of back it off the branch, put it on the main track, and then it could go. What sort of guards do you have here? <clears throat> there are no guards. How do you keep people from leaving? The gates. And the monster, I guess? Do we know what was breathing? Uh, there's something down here, he says. Yeah. But the, the miners tell him. I thought for well, sure yeah, they were ensorcelated. Or something like that, yeah. but maybe they're just fucking stuck and it sucks. No, that lady was just blind, remember? Yeah. Oh, absolutely, but I'm just curious about the rest of this crew. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And how many other people are there down here? And and as presumably it's a combination of Nightstone villagers and oh, the, the Zagarnezer clan. Oh, the no. old Zags, yeah. No, the Zagarnezer clan is gone. Gone where? They left after the ale went bad. Oh, something happened. Oh, cursed ale. Cursed ale. This is my home now. Dude, this is this is dwarven as shit. Wow. Mm -hmm. Hmm. We're getting an authentic dwarven experience here. Well, that's that's fascinating. So it means we could we could buy shares in that in this ale business like really cheap. What you do is you set this thing up and you set it up sort of like the way that like you had farms and then now you have farm experiences. Oh, you're right. Right. Yeah. We we set up about the business opportunity. We set up a dwarven experience. <laughs> Charge money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dwarfland. Yeah, yeah exactly. It, it's ecotourism, right? I've workers for the mine since they abandoned me. Oh, yeah. You, I can't you, imagine why. Wait, do what? you know why? <laughs> <laughs> is it because this is a place of pain and torment? He says that is life. They were ungrateful. Jeez. Were they ungrateful for pain and torment? 
So, so is he? What Ebenezer? are you getting? They should. Be. <laughs> <laughs> is he Ebenezer Scrooge? Well, like, I, like, are, are, are we gonna go through three like, mind yeah. shafts? <laughs> There's gonna be like the mind shaft of Christmas uh, past. past. Yeah. Um, here, so so basically, where are these gates? We need to open these gates. Finman, right? do you want to do you want to ride in this cart? I do. <laughs> What's gonna make it go? I don't understand. It's just a cart, right? I'll push it. Yeah. Just push it or mar or magic. Yeah. I don't have like a mine yeah. cart. Mage hand. I can aim on. Yeah. It might be easier than carrying, dude. Get in the cart. Okay. I'll throw him in the cart. Yes. Okay. Okay. I yeah, and hang out with him. Yeah. Right. I jump in with him. Dwarf yeah. cart. All right. And then I power with my farts. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're sitting in this cart on brand. We can't, I'm not sure we can all fit in the cart. Oh, okay. okay I'll, I'm okay yeah. walking along. Um, but we, but we've, we have three seen of, three of you could fit in the but cart. But we have seen active carts coming through, and then right. No, no people yet. Not yet. No sign of anybody. Okay. I ask him how to make this go. Says you push. Push. <laughs> uh, unseen servant. Oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you got him. To see like, how much weight it can handle. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, it's, but, I think but, it's 20 pounds. But I was going to say, but also take into account the fact that obviously the friction is there's. Yeah, I mean, yep. It yeah. has a strength of two. Okay. Boo. It can it can push this cart on the rail. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you're able to get this unseen servant to slowly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you just like. Uh, real quick, real quick, don't look directly in his eyes. He doesn't, he doesn't like that? He do, well, don't look, just don't do it. <laughs> just be uh, real about it. Yeah. Um, and there, by the way, in, uh, on the side of the cart, there is a brake handle to basically lock the wheels in place so this thing can't be rolled. Good deal. Cool. Um, uh, do you want to go uh, to the west, or do you want to go to the south? Because the, the tracks are sort of goes through both vote. Pastures. We follow the right-hand wall. Yeah, <laughs> west-hand wall. That's always right. correct, in my opinion. All right, then you enter a tunnel that goes for some distance, about 40 feet, before on the right-hand side, the wall just kind of falls away into a large open cave-like um, opening with other tunnels leading off of it deeper into the mines. To your left, and, and the, the track continues straight down the hall, to your left is a side hall. Um, that's all dark and gloomy, um, but you see a couple doors farther down that hall. It's at this time where you hear that moaning sound again. Oh. And you're not altogether sure, because of the nature of the mines, where it's originating from. <coughs> Can I make a perception check to try to <coughs> suss that out? Can you go pro? Absolutely. And Orlok says, that is the monster, or so the villagers say. Good, good chance. Probably just lazy. 24. Whoa! All hey, right. wow. <clears throat> you perceive it for real. You're pretty sure that if you are to continue on your present course along this track, you will head closer to it. Okay. <clears throat> I do not mind taking care of this thing first before we try to find anyone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if there's really a beast in here, we should deal it's with that. Just, it's just going to yeah. create problems for us on the way out. Yep. <laughs> and then we'll have a bunch of people mm -hmm. in a train behind us. We do not want an escort yep. mission. Let's do that now. Let's just avoid mm -hmm. that. Excellent. All right. Um, you continue to follow the track along, and it enters a cave uh, that has one tunnel leading off into darkness to your right, and then continues out a passage to the south. Uh, there is also another ramp in this chamber that leads up. You think it might lead back up into the throne hall? Area. Not a track, just another ramp. Up. Another ramp yeah, up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and at the at the top of the ramp, another throne hall. The same the one. Same one. Yeah. Oh, you, you think you're sort of been circling there underneath we go. it. There we go. Uh, it's all those entrances. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you can see lying on the ramp is a dead person. No! I don't really care. We see dead people. Yeah, I, I examine immediately. Okay. Uh, I may be... I'm staying by the cart. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Uh, when you go over, you can see that it is a woman, possibly in her 50s or 60s, uh, and uh, she's lying face down on the ramp, um, like she was heading up the ramp at the time she it died. fell down? And she's for Unclear. sure dead? Yeah, okay. You can make a medicine check as you inspect Yeah, her yeah, yeah. Dr. Omen. Yeah. Medicine Andy. woman. Medicine woman. Uh, 60... 23. 
Solid. Mm. I'm, so, right. I'm, I'm slinging the 23s. She has got a nasty set of fang marks. Like what kind of, like, like beasts? Uh, like Dust be vampire? They could be, they do seem very vampire-like. <laughs> uh, but they are not on her neck. They are in the middle of her back. Ow. Weird. That's a, what? That's and they're, weird. They're about, the, the fang marks are about this far apart. I, I, I'm not seeing it. Interesting story. In the fifth grade, I did bite a kid in the back. Really? True for, story. For a reason. But they'd be like trying to bite a watermelon. Like, how would you? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not saying I'm proud of it. Or that it was <laughs> you a, should be proud of it. That's what I'm saying. That's amazing. I was, yeah. Well, were you just mad at him? I was super mad. Mm -hmm. And his back. She gets, back. she gets a point across? Yeah. Point uh, yeah, I think everyone knew how I felt after that. Uh, Jim and Binwin, you can see up ahead where the, the track continues, there's another body um, lying half on the track, half off. I'll investigate. I'll and go that, with him. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you fresh? See, I mean, is it, did it just die? Uh, it's been dead about, you think, a week. Okay. Hmm. Not fresh. No. Okay. Uh, when you get up to this other body, you see that it is a, a man in his late 20s. Um, the flower kind of, of life. Dressed like a peasant, a simple commoner. Mm. Uh, but uh, he, too, uh, his legs are on the track and the rest of his body's off the track. And uh, he, too, seems to have suffered a nasty, nasty bite. Uh, this one appears to be um, on his uh, chest and shoulder. Okay. I got to go look at this woman. Okay. Do I, do I know who it is? I'm going to drag him off the track so that we can... Yeah. Proceed. Super inconvenient. Yeah. Pick somewhere else to die. Why did you man? die <laughs> here? <laughs> um, uh, you believe that she was uh, um, uh, the... Uh, owner of the windmill. Oh, okay. Uh, in here, in Nightstone. It's old Tamara Windmill. Yeah. Letty. <laughs> Letty, Letty windmill. windmill. Yeah. And uh, she loved to grind. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's, on, she's, on her, she's on her grind. The other thing I notice about this dead guy is that his shoulder, his other shoulder, seems to be completely dislocated. Uh, I mean, is, is I'm this one not... of the great cats. <laughs> I'm not like a, you know, a great no. doctor or anything, but I've got really good animal handling. Mm. Does that mean I might oh, know true, about animals? Like Jim is actually surprisingly, they have a plus five to animal handling. Or would this be more okay. nature? Uh, this would be. A I na have a plus four to nature. This yeah. would be a nature. Yeah, yeah. Check. Dude, get wild. Get crazy on Let this. Let me skill. investigate these. Yeah. Mm. See if I favor. It's ten. Okay. Um, your, your. You have seen nothing in the natural world that would leave a wound like this. Oh, but what about the, the magic world? The magic world? Uh, make an arcana check. Oh. That I know about. 26. Dang. All right. You're like, is it a dog? Is it a cat? Oh, no, it's a hippo grip. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 26. That's awesome. I can ride this fucking thing around. <laughs> okay. Um, you through some obscure bit of lore that you recall <laughs> in during your studies of the Underdark. Mm. Um, there oh, are shit. creatures that look like this. Oh, oh no. The Cloaker? Okay. That live in the depths of the earth. Oh. Yeah. Um, basically oh, fly so. around, wrap themselves around their prey, mm -hmm. and basically bite them. That's right. Yeah, that's old school. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Cloakers and uh, a, couple things, yeah. a couple Gen things you know, uh, yeah, about, know cloakers about cloakers with your phenomenal role cloakers. is that uh, they're very stealthy, extremely stealthy. Mm. Uh, they're light sensitive and they use their moan um, uh -oh. to frighten and terrify their prey. <sighs> they also nice. have magical ability. That is mm. to say that they're they can sorcerers. create illusory duplicates of themselves similar to a mirror image hmm. spell. Really? Wonderful. Yes. Interesting. Wow. Their tail is also is uh, not their primary mode of attack. Their bite is, but their tail is still lethal and can deal slashing damage. Mm. Since I obviously know so much about cloakers, mm -hmm. is it reasonable to assume that I would have a better chance of spotting fake ones versus real ones? Yeah. Okay. Or even yes. spotting them in general, which sure. I think is the bigger problem. Yeah. Right. But you can create light pretty much. Oh yeah. Anytime you yeah. want, right? Mm -hmm. You also know these are not dumb monsters. They've got like human PhD. level attendance. Oh. Uh, human level? Yeah. Wow. 
I underestimated these things. I did too. That's not saying much these days. <laughs> <laughs> Camera. Uh, okay. I gotta look at this guy too. Do I do I know the guy? Uh, yes. Jimmy Smith. What? From <laughs> Jimmy Smith. Sorry. Jimmy Smith from L.A. Law. <laughs> And Dexter. Uh, him you actually don't recognize. I'm surprised okay. we were able to get him for this. <laughs> okay. Um. I mean, it was just it was one day of filming. I, I mean, it was not oh like... Oh my god, that's a good joke. I'm surprised we were able to get him for this. Once that'll get. For that? Okay, <laughs> let's... let's I want to kill, kill, kill some of these things before, before they kill any more of, any more of these folks. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> I got Tom Hiddleston. So I'll just... I'll push the cart, keep heading down this track. Okay, so you guys will move the body off the cart. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hop yeah, yeah. back in and keep pushing along. All right. Whee! Uh, you pass by another, or the tunnel continues. Uh, it's a tunnel of work stone that the track is going down. There's branches to the left and right. To the right, you see a long passageway going into darkness. To the left, you see another ramp leading up to what you believe to be Orlok's mm -hmm. throne room. Mm -hmm. uh, as you continue straight, you enter a half-worked, half-unworked chamber uh, through which the tracks split uh, as, they, as they pass through. Uh, one uh, split happens as soon as you enter the room. It splits off to the left and goes down a passageway. Another, the rest of the track crosses the room and then continues through a rough-hewn passageway uh, tunnel. Um, actually, it splits three times. There's also a third split. I'm just going to show it to you at this point. Yeah, it's getting crazy. It is getting crazy. Do, 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 I, had do, do, do. I had an incredibly uh, poor version of this <clears throat> map that I drew, but I would rather I would rather look at this one. Good lord, man. You're cross-hashing. <laughs> nice. That's like stone. Uh, so you came down here. Yeah. You hopped on tracks and you went, dead body, dead body, and now you're in here. Right, right. And these are the ones that, these go up to the... These ramps here go up to the throne room, which sits on top of this. And here presumably. Yeah, exactly. So it goes around. It's like in a stadium, it's sort of double ramp. Exactly. Okay. Can we just ask this guy where these fucking gates are? Or like where the where the people would be. Well, he said they're behind. Although the gates, he, he right? says he has gate. no help down here yeah. at this point. Oh, did we pass the gates? Yeah, yeah, but those lead up. Yes, those are what keep everyone in yeah. the mines. They keep them down here, oh. but it isn't like that. Yeah. Um. So, but you're saying when we come up here, over here, it gets dark. Yes. All right. Mm. Uh, seems like, seems like Cloakerville to me. Cloakerville yeah. races. Yeah. That's a good point. Okay. Uh, and at this point, I'd like you all to make perception checks. And you, why don't you make one with advantage, Michael? Cool. Can I? <gasps> yes. Ooh. Oh, I can. Zero. I'll take the 14. Uh, plus one is 15. All right. 13. 13. So not the best. I'm sleeping pro. again. I'm sleeping again. Yeah. <sighs> um, perception 23. Wow. Nice. Damn. Right. Um, another, Get at him. Uh, you don't hear anything currently from down that passageway. Uh, but you, Mr. 23, um, can hear what sounds like shuffling feet down here. Down here? Oh, yeah. not, even, not even where we were listening. Wow. And you also hear somebody say, shh, shh, quiet. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait yeah. here for one yeah, second. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll I'll head up a little bit ahead and I'll say everybody we're we're here to get you out. You hear one voice say, "Oh my god, I think it's the monster." It's <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not it's it's I'm not it's the monster. Yelpers. And another <laughs> voice another voice say, "You idiot." <laughs> I'm not, I'm not the monster. I know that generally speaking in narratives like this, man is the true monster. <laughs> I, I don't, Who goes there? I'll keep, I'll keep, I'll go, hey. Do they um, have an accent in your town, Viari? They have an accent. <laughs> <laughs> I spent many years getting rid of that accent. It's like me and my comes out every now and then in the, in the, in the tavern. <laughs> uh, say, 
you know, come out if you're like... It's like how I banished my Canadian accent. I just <laughs> looked in the mirror every morning and said, about. <laughs> <laughs> about. Oot. Oot. <laughs> I'll say, hiding in the dark is not the best choice right now. Really, we are here to get you out. Where is everyone? Come on out here. Uh... All right, they start to, people start to shuffle forth out of this chamber. Uh, they climb over what looks like a, a mate barricade okay. that they've created. Uh, and they sort of pull that aside, and a couple of them emerge. Uh, and uh, uh, one of them you recognize as uh, Clarence Dunstucker. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, he is an older is man. Guy? <laughs> older man in his uh, 50s, 60s. Somewhere in there. 70s, 80s, 90s, uh, and today. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, not too far behind him, you see Maud. Oh. <clears throat> um, and Maud. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, uh, Maud says, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah. Timothy, good boy, Dunstucker, is that you? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh, writing it all down. Timothy Good boy Dunstucker. Dunstucker. Yep. It's a it's an old family name. Um four generations. Okay, so his name is not Viari. That's the revelation. Timothy Dunstucker. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy Dunstucker. <laughs> Um, not, ev not everyone, if you guys are safe in there, not everybody needs to come out. I just didn't know. <laughs> I, we, we didn't know. I just didn't want everybody like... Safe. Him. Monsters eating like eight of us. <laughs> okay, well, so long as the monster isn't in there, if you guys are safe in there for now, we can take care of, of the monster. Take care of the monster? Are you mad? Go get your brother, Jack. He'll know what to do. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, we... What? Jack, this, J Jack can't... Yeah, go get Jack. I'll, okay, right? I'm going to bring Jack back here, and then I will take care of this Jack. Clarence turns around and says, Damn right. Jack is the best wrestler in the province. <laughs> Jack, <laughs> Jack. He'll take care of this problem. Right, quick. There's a kid he's with a brain. wrestle right, a cloaker? Yeah, he's going to wrestle these mystical How? human intelligence beasts. Listen, Jack... I'm... I would feel a lot safer if Jack were here. I don't know about you guys. I would love to meet Jack Jack's, so much. Jack seems really like a meet. real straight shooter. Sounds like a real hoot. Yeah. yeah. Do you? Can you introduce us to Maud Jack? Maud says, I ain't done racing in. Great. Introduce me to your friends. Is this your mother? I am so pleased to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Dunstucker, I presume. We are Timothy's friends. Oh, my From gracious. City. Call me Maud. <laughs> Maud, it's a pleasure. Maud, listen. This is a really, really bad place. And we need to Dang get you out of it. here. Yes, we need to get you out of here. No, we can't leave yet. We haven't done our work. Uh, you what? Are not, you are not obligated to do this work. Well, he, our gracious host upstairs told us, you know, we do a bit of service for him, and he'll take care of us. At least we could do. Hell, he didn't know there's a monster down <laughs> they here. Didn't, they didn't know they were <clears throat> slaves? No, and, and... They don't seem to know that the monster is real. No, the monster is real. Well, yeah, yeah, but, of course the monster is real. But the, he didn't know about the monster, and they're giving him the benefit of the doubt. Hold on a second, I speak yokel. <laughs> <laughs> I, say, I say, this guy ain't no host. He's a shitty, he's so shitty he could knock a buzzard off a shit wagon. <laughs> 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 he threw you down here to dig up a bunch of rocks. Uh, he's a carpetbagger. He, he done hornswoggled the Zagernezers. <laughs> and he's got a, 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 he had a golem upstairs. Replacing well, good jobs with robots. <laughs> and, uh, we gotta get. Go. While the getting's good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, let's get them the shit out of here. But where are the rest? Where is the rest of the town? Is everybody in there? Yeah, everybody's still alive, except for Jack, who's like run his dumbass off <laughs> trying to be the hero. Well, no, Jack's not here. Well, then where is Jack? He's with his family, where he lives. You dumb and great. Oh, so oh. he's not in here? 
Okay, uh, then we're fine. Great. Good. This is great news. This is great news yeah. that Jack is somewhere else. Yeah, you're not going to be in a safe. situation where you need to save Jack. I know that would hurt you. He's. It's good. He's okay, Jack. is is Meemaw back there? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Meemaw and Peepaw. So is Uncle Yali. He came for the Dead Winter Day feast. Uh, okay. Um. um got his dead winter sweater on. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, these bleak ass, just, just it's these just, bleak ass antlers. Yeah. Antlers <laughs> and, 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 off and a bear tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no moon in the sky. Yeah. Yes. Dead winter. Right, we need to get these people out of here. Uh, now here's the thing. If we like have a little parade, that is when the cloaker is going to get it's us. It's called a buffet. Yeah, buffet. yeah. <laughs> dead <laughs> winter or day buffet. That. <laughs> Can you cast an illusory light in here? Mm -hmm. That will keep the cloakers out. Like they hate light. I love this plan. If we f if we fill this room because it's closed off, mm -hmm. if we fill this with bright magical light, they won't. Get, it'll be like a bug light, right? I mean, they, they don't, they're the opposite of a bug light. They don't want. They're not going to want any piece of this. Okay. They can't be around um, it at all. Shouldn't the light oh. be on the? How many people are we talking about? Uh, they say there's 42 of us. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but if but if that room is well lit. Okay. The They're clickers, not going to want to come in there. The won't go in there. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I can just make light. That's easy. Make a bunch. Well, he can make one. Yeah. He can make a light source. But you can yeah. put it right in that little opening where sure. anything, like right by the barricade. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I light it up. Okay. Uh, they, the the uh, villagers say, we also got a few lanterns in there, but we didn't think it was a good idea to shine lights because then it would know where we were. Uh, it's, it's, mm. It is not like that. Okay. So. It, was a, it was a good <laughs> thought, but wrong here. Fire them up. <laughs> You know, when give us like an hour. We need an hour. We're gonna find this thing. We're gonna kill it, and then we're gonna take you out of here. Can I have my light be on a glowing dove that's just sort of flying around us? Uh, you could essentially put like a little. It has to be on an object, so you can put like a band around its leg or something, okay. and then cast it on the band, and then you'd have a glowy dove. Okay, got it. Because we need it to follow us as we leave, right? If they eat this dove. Oh man, they're gonna eat this dove. <laughs> so they're not. They're nuts. But it is be fine. light coming from Dove's it. Dove's good eating. <laughs> no, if they eat the dove. Oh, yeah. We've never got a dove. I'm not talking about the cloakers. It's staying up in the sky. Heaven's chicken. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm saying that if we want to go work, mm -hmm. they need to have light. By, they need to have protection. Oh, I thought we were going to try to get everybody out. The thing is, like, if we, like, 40 people kind of milling out, that's when the cloaker's going to come and, like, wreck yeah, our Yeah, if, if we try to take the group of them out... Even with the light around us, it's, a, it's it, it is pretty close. We could try it, but like that, we're gonna get sandbagged as soon as that happens. So you're saying leave the light here, and then go hunt this thing in the dark? Yeah, like I think they'll be safe with a bunch of light for an hour while we go and like draw and like find this thing and kill it. Uh, listen, I just work here. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay. Uh, you see, um, Clarence says, well, we can't leave here until we met our quota. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna make good, like, any, any debt you're owed, and plus, it's fine to go back to the town now. Everything's okay there. Do we not have the, we still have the dwarf with us? Yeah, he's in the cart back, the, back yeah. a ways a little bit there. I mean, we, you don't have to pay him. He's in the cart back here. We beat the <laughs> shit out of him. So we... We, what? We didn't. We we negotiated with him. Well, that just sounds no. like bad manners. We already did a lot of the damage. You wrecked the <laughs> golem. Timothy? Yeah. <laughs> Timothy. Well, I ain't taught you enough hospitality. <laughs> he put you in a mine, Mom. <laughs> Mom, you're in a mine. You're underground. This is. You came here because you needed help, and he made you mine. <laughs> Are you mocking me? I am not. I'm shit. not mocking you. I'm not giving you any sass, that's a mom. Real, that's real mom. That's a mom. <laughs> this is authentic. Yeah. I think he has a mom. That's I came I mean. here to get you out, okay? You got to go home. <laughs> Where you belong. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine. I'll take care of it. All right. Well, yeah, I'll yeah. leave the light here. Okay. We'll leave the light on for you. Yeah. <laughs> Like I look, I don't want to, to my parents. It, like who? It sucks. Who here is 
other than my parents is there. I want a young person who is impressionable that I can impose my will on. Like a 16 year old farm boy with shoulders like this far across. Grab sure. your spoons and yeah. okay. harps and Grab let's get that. You, go, you, <laughs> you, go, you stand right here in the front, okay? And your job, your job is you stand here, you keep the lights burning, you don't let anyone leave and come look for us, right? Got it. And no one can try to catch Aww. the dove and eat it. Nobody <laughs> does anything to the dove. No, nobody does nothing to the dove. And what happens <laughs> if my parents decide that somebody want, has to come look for me to make sure I'm okay? Nope, they don't get past me. Good, nobody does it all. Nope, nobody. Got it. Okay. He follows you. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going, <clears throat> Willie? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, let's go clear out these magical cloak cloakers. People. Right. <laughs> we should do. We should do. We should just stone shape the fucking. <laughs> lock them in. <laughs> okay. Now that we've got that handled, just lock them in. Just... <laughs> no, not in here. I'm. I'm you mean saying, the cloaker. I'm saying the cloaker. Oh, do we know for sure they're down that hallway? I mean, yo, you want to you want to stone shape and lock the yokels in? <laughs> well, that's what, if we're worried about them being. It hurt. would actually make pretty good sense. That would be pretty bulletproof. God, and they wouldn't be able to get in, but what about the doors? Yeah, I don't know. They would... They'll find a way. They'll it's, find a way. Love always the, finds a way. What if the cloakers were inside the room all the time? That's yeah, I was going to say, uh, what, if, what if they are cloakers? Okay. Um, uh, so, yeah, like... They have to hold up. All the lights are on. I think down that other passage is the good choice. Because yeah. we heard the noise. It was in front of us. Yeah. Yeah. It's either... It's, it's probably either going to be down this one, which we're closest to, or this one right there. Yeah. So let's hit this one first. <clears throat> yeah, let's okay. investigate. Now, these—I mean, these mines could go on like hella far down right. everywhere. So maybe, like, do we or do we have a torch or anything on us? Because we actually want this thing to attack us. Then we don't want we what light, right? Right. We don't want to spook it ahead of us because it's oh, like we want it to attack so we can kill it. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. Not just the attacking us. There. That's only step one. Right. Then we don't <laughs> want any light. Yeah. No so, light. Yeah. Exactly. Dark vision. Dark vision. Okay. I'll just have my hand on Binwin's yeah. back. Yeah. Okay. Um, then we'll just see, I look like, down that hallway purple. with my dark vision. Okay. What do I see? Uh, you see that after a fashion, after about thirty feet, the hallway breaks into some sort of larger chamber that's been worked, made of worked stone. Okay. I convey that to my compatriots. Once we get in there, mm -hmm. will you be able to make some light for us? Like once it reveals uh, itself. Will my other light go away? Yes. Maybe just make a big fire. That'll I, count. I can do fire. I can, I can see. I can see well enough by fireball light. Yeah, I can press to digitate it from fire. Okay. Or conjure. Yeah. Okay. So um, we're, we're walking down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's your marching order? I'll go first. In the lead. In the lead. With my dark vision. Okay. And Jim's got an arm on I your shoulder, so he's second. Yeah. Shoulder. Yeah, you're behind. Um, and then I'll I'll, I'll I'll come up the back. Yeah. If you want to do back, I'll do middle. Okay. All right. Uh, Binwin, make yes. a perception check when you bust into this room. See what you see. Or what you don't see. Two. Two. It's not Excellent. great. All right. Uh, so... Uh, I see nothing. Yeah, this tunnel breaks into uh, one of the side walls of a long uh, rectangular chamber with a door at a far end. Um, and there are all of these uh, stone-worked beds that look like they once contained mattresses, but the mattresses have all been they basically disintegrated. Um, over the past 10 years. And uh, it looks like clearly this is where miners would right. shack up. Yeah. Uh, and the, the beds appear to be of a length appropriate for dwarves. Sleep train uh, factory. Yep. Yeah. There are some old uh, um, iron foot lockers uh, that are sort of rusty and old, uh, scattered around uh, the beds and on the floor. You kind of kick one when you enter a little bit. Um, and that's all that you see. Light? There's a, well, you said there's a, you can see a door on the other side, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. We can. Yeah. I just push through. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. Yeah, he's funny. He's what? He's funny looking. Okay. Yeah. As, as the rest of you enter, you can make perception checks to see if you guys notice anything. Ben, you've already made yours. So about it. Boom. Oh. Yeah, yeah. 20. That's pretty good. I've got 22. I have 20 as well. 
Thanks. Can't uh, let me have it. <laughs> All right. And actually, Jim, I'm going to give you a disadvantage because uh, you've got no no eyes. Probably me too. You're in the dark. Oh, Fair, that's right. Yeah, your per your perception is. So uh, roll again and take the lower result. One. One. Okay. Three. I got sixteen for my second. Sixteen. And Omen, you were at what? What? Twenty-two. That's pretty damn good. Okay, and you're the last one in the marching order, right? Yeah, your entire okay. thing is made of cloakers. As you, it's all cloakers. <laughs> We're walking on cloakers. It's uh, cloakers all the way down. <laughs> as, you, a cloaker. as you enter the room, you are not surprised when a cloak-like creature drops down upon you. No! Yeah. Uh, so, um, you can roll initiative. I will. Actually, everybody can roll initiative, but only Omen can act. To be fair, I have uh, alert. I cannot be surprised. Excellent. Ooh. So you are not surprised then. <laughs> and other creatures, black. Yeah, something's happening. <laughs> <laughs> other creatures do not get advantage on attacks from being. They hidden. can't. They can't take advantage of you. Well, from being hidden specifically. Jim, right. I, I think Omen's being attacked by a cloak. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty. It sounds like him. Yeah. Uh, Jim. Uh, eleven. Eleven. Omen. Uh, can you have a zero initiative? Yes. I have a zero. Well done. Diari. Seventeen. Yeah, I rolled okay. a one and I have negative one. Zero. That is impressive. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, you might man. be able to go backwards in time and yeah. actually time loop. Yeah. yeah. You go first. <laughs> so uh, you, cloaker expert that you are. Oh yeah. Uh, hear a brief flapping noise that instantly trips you off that this creature is above you, behind you, now. Okay. Near the ceiling, and you actually get to go first. Was my twelve? Yeah. Uh, well, I spent a lot of time with the cloakers. Among them. Among them. Raised they treat by me cloakers. like one of their own. That's God, right. I wish I'd been raised by cloakers. Your, your oh, cloak my cloak after. on the cloakers. The cloaker, yeah. Uh, let's see, I mean... My cloaker name is Ubuntu. <laughs> <laughs> which is their word for, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> if there's nobody around it, then I'm going to fireball. Yeah, who knows, who knows what else you might catch. Oh, there a a fireball will... <laughs> Engulf a large portion of this room. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Let's do it! Old school. You say uh, fireball, I hear ample light source. <laughs> so, yeah, so i got to pull a couple things out of my pouches, push them together. I let out a fireball, and I think you have to roll... I have to make a saving throw. ...against it, yeah. Um, Don't we all? 15. Yes. Well, no, no. I, I throw it up into the ceiling. It's yeah. high. Yeah, and Ceilings it says the 20-foot 20, oh, 20 radius sphere. Yeah. 20-foot radius sphere. Yeah, I, I mean, 10-foot high ceiling. Behind, yeah, thirty feet, forty feet behind, probably what? <laughs> what this is probably <laughs> <laughs> how far? How far? So you don't so, need to This is probably pretty fair because he doesn't know how high here. the ceiling True. is. The ceiling yeah. is here, or, or the 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 cloaker is sort of over this entrance, waiting for you. Twenty foot radius pretty much takes you to every corner of the room. You fill this with fire. Hmm. It's fine. They scare me. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So a a rush <laughs> of flame engulfs the room. And everybody can make a saving throw. What's the dexterity <laughs> save DC for your spell? Is it a one? Because I rolled 15, a one. Fifteen. Excellent. The cloaker failed. Good. How many cloakers? Just one. Just one. Seventeen. Kind of hoping for more. Okay. So you're gonna take half damage. What's going on now? Is that uh, saving throw? Uh, <laughs> dexterity saving throw. Uh, I was. Oh I, wait, dexterity saving throw. I yeah. Be full of cloakers. Just <laughs> yeah. <a lot. laughs> I get advantage on dexterity <laughs> saving throws. I get, you get advantage, advantage on dexterity saving You're throws. Fine, on right? Michael fail hour. Uh. <laughs> Do I have to roll it? Uh, what? I mean, yeah. I am the source of it. You are, and you are in the blast. So I mean, yes. it envelops me, but it doesn't consume. Right? It could consume uh. you. <laughs> it goes around and through no! me. Shit. We all rolled shitty. I, I right. made I made mine. You made yours. All right. So roll your damage for your fireball. Are you amping this fireball up? Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I, was, I had no plan to. So 8d6. Oh, God. I thought that this room was full of cloakers. You know, honestly, I'm back. I think that he made the right call. 8d6? It's a big spell. All right. This is the first half. 10, 12, 13. Somebody remember 13. Three. All right, 13. Uh, plus oh. 16, 17, 18, 19. 32. So that's 30. I have, <laughs> I have two health left. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you take 16. Uh, actually, I, for evasion, I get zero. Uh, can you do that if you haven't acted yet? 
uh, when I make my deck save for half damage, yep. I instead save for no damage. Great, you're fine. So, there you go. 30 you dodge through the flames. Well, what happens to the cloaker? Cloaker, huh? cloaker must it, have been fucking immolated, right? It, it takes just as much damage as all of you did. Okay. Um, it super hates that. Yes, and oh, in, a, in a moment, you can, as, as fire fills the room, uh, you do see this uh, large creature descending down upon Omen, uh, now uh, burnt. On plus, fire. Yeah, but plus wait, now but, Omen's no, on no, fire, on. it's going to yeah, hate uh, touching him. No, no, right. no, but does that put the fire out? Well, it's on fire too. Yeah. Oh, it's going to yeah. be like a big fire. <laughs> it's a fire blanket. It's like a fire blanket, but it's literally a blanket made of fire yeah. wraps you. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> um, it is now, this is still a surprise round. Uh, it's very I can't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised by any of this. Omen, uh, the creature, the flaming blanket falls down upon you. Hmm. Uh, it tries to bite you and rolls a 16 to hit. What's your AC? 18. Very good. And then it tries to take a swipe at uh, Viari with its tail. Oh, from the back? Bring it! Oh, and you're loving out again. Nine. I think the only okay. way that I can conceivably not take this damage is I go into like the the uh, what was it in Stranger Things? The upside down. Yeah, yeah upside down. I, I, you just I temporarily step yeah. into the you upside just... down for a moment and then come back. Yep. All right. Uh, so uh, that is that, and it is now the regular turn. And Binwin, you are the first up. So if I swing at it, I could harm Omen. So it's around him, right? It's not around him. It never got, it never... It okay. missed. It missed with God. its attack. I am going to so could not attack. rage like the machine. Yeah. Not unlike the machine. And uh, here we go. Uh, hey. 14 plus 7. 21. Yep. That's a miss. And Ooh. that's a hit. Two hits. Two hits. It's a good thing this thing didn't wrap around you because then it's really nasty. Oh no! Uh, yeah, I remember. It's old school. Saved your life. And yes. then every time about it like this. anyone Speaking tries to which, hit him, it nine. has half yeah. the damage yeah. to oh, him. Oh yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna help you out. Uh, nine and eight. Seventeen. Yes. All right. Well done. Thank you. Uh, the creature is quite hurt at this point, uh, and shonk shonk. It is Viari's turn. <sighs> okay, you went. He's goes before it. I'm going to try to take it out. Okay. Rather than try to like shield you or like interpose That's myself fair. or something. Because I think if I can just take it out, we'll be okay. 18 and the other one is a um, 17? Does 17 hits. hit? Hey. Yep. So... D6, D8, to 31. Oh. Jeez. Nicely done. Wow. I hit with both, and I rolled pretty good on my sneak attack. <laughs> All right. Uh, that deals it a vicious wound, uh, two vicious wounds, and it is still alive, Jeez. but in really, really bad shape. Okay. Um, Let's see, that was Viari. The creature. Oh. Um, Sorry, I thought I'd be able to take it out. It's okay. <clears throat> no, no, it's cool. As long as it doesn't go for Mr. Dark Magic. It magically creates three illusory duplicates of itself, which mm. appear all around it. And they sort of mix and intermingle in a strange way. It's and flop. then all four of them immediately sort of flap and go flying out the passage you came through. Of course. Um, now, as they disengage from you, Omen, because yeah. you're in the back rank, you can make an opportunity attack against one of them. God, is there any way to even know? Do you have any, any area effect stuff? Uh, it's not really, that's not really my the way, the way, me Mechanically, the way it works is whenever you target the cloaker with an attack or a harmful spell, and it has one or more duplicates, uh, you roll randomly to determine whether you hit the real guy. Oh, I, or no, can I, cast, can I cast a spell? I mean, do I yeah. get an attack? Yeah. Okay, so I could cast a spell? Well, it, this is actually not a case where you can cast a spell. You're taking an opportunity It's so attack. fast. Yes. Okay. Right? Yeah. Maybe the, the duplicates have little goatees. <laughs> yeah. Is that possible? <laughs> but it's like a boy band. Yeah. But like cloakers. Um, so I, I don't... It, does anybody have any suggestions as to what, how, how I could choose the right one? 
I would take your best shot. It doesn't sound like you can. No, no. Exactly. yeah, you really don't know, unless you have something like a true seeing spell where you can up and you can use that. Uh, to a discern. zone of truth. Which of you is the real cloaker? <laughs> or I could dispel. I could do like. Well, it's, 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 this is just my quick right. thing while yeah. they're leaving, right? So I, it's just it's just random. So yeah, right? you're just taking a panic yeah. swing with your maul against maybe these it's creatures. Real, maybe it's not. Maybe yeah, exactly. away. Yeah. Yeah. I, I definitely nice. hit something. Yeah. Okay, so you roll a d4, I'll roll a d4, and if we both roll the same thing, you hit the genuine article. Oh, that's oh, wow. cool. Oh, oh, no, hold on. That's, that's not an actor's rip representation of, of 1 in 25, I don't think. Well, here, if I say... But this is fun. If I say <laughs> 3 is the real gun, okay, so he now has to roll you, a 3. Yeah, yeah okay. it's set. It's set. Okay. No! Okay, so one of the duplicates goes pop and right. disappears. And so then the rest of them are... And the other three go out and disappear into the, the tunnel with the out, out here, basically. Why did that change? It didn't. I, 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 I've just been burned by probability, and I always stop, and I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, so. All right. I think it's fun. Um, so, but you're hosed, right? I have two health. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, that was a reaction on its turn. So, Jim, it is your turn. Right. Hurt if you have another bad. fireball, you could throw it into the hallway yeah. and be uh, pretty sure that it's going to spread far. Don't, no, actually, you might kill no, my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might, <laughs> you might destroy the, um, the Dunstucker plant. Wait, no, ah, from, uh, no. Well, there's nothing to shoot at in here anymore, right? Correct. Well, I just want to get healed. I just walk over to Omen. Well, and, I'll, do that, I'll do that in my turn. Don't worry okay. about me. Is, what, what, what can you do out there? I'm not, I have two health. I'm not going out there. Well, but, but, but do you have? But can you, are they still flat? Can you see them through the door? Flapping? Are they just gone? Okay. Yeah, they've gone. They I'm burned oh, up. Although you know what I do, I oh if if it's his if if we're still in combat turns that's fine. Yeah, but yeah, otherwise, yeah. We're still in combat turns. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know that I'm in a position to do Whole jack life. shit right now. Yeah. I think I just lay down in front of you and cry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> just wrap your clothes just rock you. back and forth. Uh, All right. Uh, ben Wynn? Mm -hmm. What would Captain you like to do? Yeah. So I've got to run after this thing and try to find it again? It's up to you, really. Can I see it with dark vision? Uh, it is not in your line of sight. So okay. I'm... So you're in here. We're in that room. And it ran... And it went... Down here. Oh, it ran down there? Yeah, it flapped its way Should I off. chase it, guys? I'm gonna. I'm gonna, because it could be after the family, so yeah, yeah, I chase after it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you guys stay here See, and heal yeah. up Jim, but I, yeah. I'm after who? His family. The crew. All the people. Okay, Jim, uh, you have a speed of 20, right? Some 25? Something like that. 25. Yeah, 30. Yes. Okay, Jim, or, so, and uh, Ben, when you got a speed of 25, so. Oh, uh, yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20. So 25 puts you back in this room. 5, 10, 15, 20. 15, 20. Uh, you can see the creature and its two remaining duplicates are basically in this rough hewn passage right about here. Can I reach it with a hand axe? Uh, Let's throw it. You could hurl a hand axe at it. That's what I Actually, do. Yeah. I love it. It's a great call. So now it's winning three. Oh. Uh, 14 plus seven. You are going to hit it okay. potentially. So I'm going to roll a d6. All okay. right. And then you're going to roll a d6. If you roll a three or four, you hit the real deal. Boom. Yeah. All right. Nice Ooh. hand axe right to Good it. Good job. Uh, so that's a one d6 plus. Whoops. Ooh, All right. So nine points of damage. Dang. Uh. Plus two. Am I still raging? How long does rage last? last? Uh, you had a conversation with the, or you were kind of hanging out while the, they were talking to his family. So that probably just stopped. You chilled. You chilled. Okay. Uh, so nine yeah. points of damage. Uh, you hit the real deal. Boom. Its duplicates vanish and the creature falls dead on the trial. Oh, wow. It's going to be like uh, in, in the wall and it out. cracks. It's yeah. a bin win. <laughs> I retrieve my, I say Merry Axmas. <laughs> <laughs> and I retrieve my hand axe. Okay. You got anything for And Orlock yeah. is still in the mine cart in the room. So yeah. he's just sort of watching <laughs> all this transpire. I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we see, <laughs> see what happened to him. Um, so I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit uh, James dangerous. Dark Magic <laughs> mm -hmm. um, true. with Cure Wounds. Um, just the way he stops clawing. And goosed. Drama. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to goose it. Um, I burned myself. Yeah. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Eighteen. I'll take it. Takes me back up to twenty. All right, what's your max? Thirty-four. Uh, uh. At some point, I wrote potion. I don't know what. 
That's not <laughs> super yeah. useful. I think it's a potion of healing that we got one I point assume one it is. We, did. We, had, we had a giant sized potion once. We were yeah. taking sips of it. It was yeah. big. Yeah. It had the straws. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll. Potion of whatevs. Yeah, yeah. I'll <laughs> just drink you it. Be more specific in the I, I think I'll try to be, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to cast one more on Jim. Okay. Oh. It's 1d8 plus the spell casting bonus. We're out of initiative now, so um, yeah, it is. Okay, 13. Plus another 13? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you should be okay for now. Yeah. Okay. You got your axe back. Yep. Um, you guys saunter back out. I'm confident now that the creature is dead. I asked Jim, like, you seem to know a lot about these things. Are they like solitary hunters, or do they... It took a semester of Cloaker. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. Um, so Cloakers are primarily solitary, but mm. once in a while they get this weird urge to convene and they gather in these conclaves and then after the conclave happens they disperse again and all go their separate ways. Hmm. Weird. It's unlikely you would find a conclave this close to the surface. Cloaker cell. Generally, yeah, they're they're lone wolves, so okay. to speak. Yeah. Okay, let's get these people out of here then. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's, he's hanging out. Unless we're at like Cloaker Con. <laughs> Hopefully we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. We're not gonna leave them uh, you said I can't let anybody <laughs> pass. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's getting past me. No, that's fine. Uh, you you uh, gather with the villagers. You can see they're all clustered in their little room. Uh, you assure them that the creature is dead. And yeah, where do you and lead them? And so we should be able to get to these ramps. By the way, it breathed yeah. fire on us. Just, <laughs> just if very, you're curious, very perilous. Yeah, there's still a little smoke tendrils coming off there. <laughs> so. From here, yeah. we should be able to get out uh, to one of the ramps. What yep. are we going to do with uh, the dwarf guy that's in the minecart? I'll kill him. They have not fulfilled their obligations. This guy's a weirdo. I say we let Weird. Bedouin kill him. <laughs> <laughs> now, technically, weirdness is not a crime. What about, what about enslaving <laughs> your now, the I, village? Now, if they had been in here with collars on, and like, or enthralled, or something, or left down with a deadly creature. Now that is real good. And see, that's, that's where it's getting weird. Where, where I feel like we're in the realm now of. I, I look at him. I'm like, where guilt? You put my people in a bad situation, and they died. To be fair, just maybe what thirty minutes ago, you killed a goblin for ringing a bell. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, no, no, actually, that goblin I think is still alive. Yeah, I think that you guys killed a goblin for ringing a bell. <laughs> you beat the shit out of a goblin did, for ringing yeah. a bell. That's true, but he got out. Um, so I don't like this guy. Yeah, here's the reality. Maybe we should find out what his whole deal is. Because well, how about first? First, let's get these people up out of the mine. Let's yeah. get them out, yeah. and like they can and, walk and, and home. We're going to bring him with us yeah. out. Yes, and you can convince Orlock to get the give the password for this gauge to get you back. In well, the, I remember the Nightstone Tribunal. It's it's, it's Drak. Different gate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall. You try it. Master. I'm just happy to be at a table where that happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong gate, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> uh, but uh, you are able to lead the villagers back up into the main hall. Okay. Right. Where, where, where they came a while ago for help and then got rolled, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So let's close that gate again behind us so whatever else that's yes. down there doesn't come back out. Good call. Yes. Now, the, the villagers, they, they do feel, yeah, they do have an obligation because Orlok did offer them the protection of his hearth. It's true, uh, but by the but, same token, they can they, repay they that are, in their they, own town. Yeah, and they are a little bit, well. Um, didn't they lose some people? Yeah, they did. Okay. Yeah, eight they lost people. eight people. Uh, but they do, they, they are a little out of sorts that they when they pleaded with Orlok to let them out of the mines, he refused. So now they're, so, yeah, they're, see? so they're remembering what's going on yeah. here. We will, but, but again, we will let them manage this. We're not magistrates. I mean, they, if, if they still feel like they have something that they need to repay him for, and it's not gonna hurt them to give it back, yeah. and they're in their own town. The innkeeper um, of the Nightstone Inn is a dwarf named Morgrak Orgray. Um, he is one of the villagers that you've just rescued, um, and he kind of chastises Orlok for leaving them trapped down in the mines with such a terrible creature and rhymes off the names of all the people who yeah. died. 
Um, but it doesn't seem to sink into Orlok's head that this is a bothersome thing. It's just like, that's the price of doing business with me. He's oh, wow. not going to change his ways. This is a whack job. You're not going to rehabilitate this guy. This is not okay, Scrooge. Okay, so here's it. Dad, it's, get, can, you, can you take these people? The, the, the village is fine. Oh, fuck, are those goblins going to be a problem? Just how about this? Go wait in the foyer, right? Go wait in the foyer. I'm going to talk to this guy. I'm going to settle your debts. I'm going to, I'm going to work this out. Settle and, your debts. And, and it's like, settled. And, okay? And, and I'll, I'll be right out. And we'll, we'll go down to the town with you. Get you guys settled back in, okay? All right. I have my misgivings, but you go right ahead. Okay. <laughs> I'll lead everybody out. Um, and once they're out, I'm like, can you zone a truth this? Warwick Urgray comes yeah. over to you and uh, yeah. extends a hand. Puts oh. a, a hand on your shoulder and How's congratulates you on uh, helping to free the townsfolk. And he says, uh, we were sort of interrupted by the attack of the giants, but if you find yourself a nightstone and in need of a bed and a warm drink, just, it's on me. I think this guy's coming on to me. I think so. That's Man. awesome. Let it happen. Just let it happen. Let it what wash happens over in Nightstone? Stay you know in I'm Nightstone. Saying? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, no yeah, I can, I, can, I can zone of truth this area if you want to have a conversation with this creature. But he might be saying what he believes Absolutely. is the truth. That's true, but the, the real question is, we need to know did, what you, happened to the... did you curse the ale or, oh, or arrange for it to be ruined? Yeah, we want to know what happened to the um, yeah. Yeah, this is... hearth people. Though. Yeah, yeah. And so I pretty much just said, I can, have you, can you... I have it right here. It's the Zagernezer. Zagernezer, <laughs> right. I wrote it down somewhere. Yeah, yeah, but 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 again, so if he's the source of information yeah. for the other people that Zag have been Yeah. <laughs> Zach right. Ef no. Zach Efron. Zagernezer. That's, yeah. That's right. It's a dwarven word for broken nose. Oh. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> I, I like that. I, I, I buy it. I buy it. Keep it. If that, now it's it, canon. If that, yeah. if that doesn't end up in an expansion, I'll be sad. <laughs> or more precisely, crooked nose. Yeah, there we go. Well, if you if you're talking about the deep dwarven, right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, high, yeah, high dwarven. The uh, I've set up the uh, interrogation zone. If you want to, okay, run some game on him. I'm like, did you interrogation zone? Yeah. Did you f arrange to have the ale go bad? Yes, the minds were lucrative, and I wanted them. Okay, <laughs> just the truth. Well, there it's we go. Just the truth, man. It's just the truth. <laughs> what? <laughs> we were trying to tell you. We, we had to listen. Did you they know, know that? No. And, and where are they now? They have gone back to the mountains, back to their homeland. Why How long have you been prick? here? Back, <laughs> to, back to the fatherland. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't understand. No, they, I mean, for yeah. real, like this. Uh, he, he basically tells you that he, he bought this, he, he swooped in and bought the place when they were eager to sell after the... Uh, after, they were, after they were annihilated after, and their, after their entire way of tainted. life was destroyed. What happened to your face? I was shot in the head by an elf. <laughs> oh, out of... Oh. Oh. Out, because remember, they, they was, there was there's elf problems in the in the forest. Is it in the nearby forest? No. Elf yeah. problems in the forest. Nine far away. From yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine. So he's so he's so he's legitimately a bad person. He's legitimately a bad person. And he says, "The the arrowhead stuck in my head." Yes, Were I you am. like this before you got shot in the head with the arrow? <laughs> I don't remember. Hmm. How will we get an arrowhead out? That was 40 years ago. Yeah, oh. medicine. I I'll tell you how I'll do it. I'm going to do surgery on his don't, head. Don't, Are you? don't treffen this dude. Yeah. Right? I don't know if that, that's the end uh, we want to the Christmas on special. Well, here's how we, here, you're here. going to invent surgery? Here's, here's, here's the metagame. <laughs> oh, can you do the, um, the, the swap places thing? Oh, so yeah, I would what? go into his brain? <laughs> no, but what? No, 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 no it'll be like inner space. <laughs> We have to do make I shrink Jim small. Oh my <laughs> and god! And then you can fly That's your broom true. in his veins. You didn't even do mouth. Fantastic Voyage. You said inner space <laughs> because you wanted to go eighties. I, I would just it a take a times. take a, like a ginger it was snap a really good and just movie. swap it, it so out good. for that arrowhead. Was the cowboy. Oh, you can't see it. It yeah. was actually really good. Um, hey, it's like this. It's like this. Oh, in the zone of truth, I whisper to you that I stole a bottle of wine and a muskrat from, and I feel bad about it. Your village, but it was Thursday. Yeah. And I left mine at home. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like this. So you 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 want to annihilate him? 
I think he's a weirdo. I mean, he's not going to do much damage. Again, weird is not a crime. He's not going to do much damage. Slaver, negligent slaver, and like ousting these people. I'm fine leaving it up to the people of Nightstone to enact their own justice on him. Yeah, yeah. Here's here's how I... Redneck justice. Here's how here's how I feel. Um, It's the Christmas special, (laughs) and there may be a redemptive payload. Right. Right. You want to try to fix it? We have you to metagame to this. Him. We are going to bring him into the town. Yeah. I am going to, with a combination of magic and medicinal... And divine grace. And medieval medicinal <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> um, and and some sheep shears. I am going to <laughs> remove this arrowhead. After which point, he is left in their care... Um, yeah. And and they can they can pr- they can perform whatever justice that they feel is appropriate okay. at that time. But let me do this first part. I'm f- down with it. Um, so here's here's my my other thought is Do you need hot water and towels. Yes, <laughs> lots of towels. Um, it doesn't matter what the problem is. Have you noticed it's that? Always hot water and towels. <laughs> There's got to be like standing, like. A, a huge body of like dwarf law about like you stole our shit. There's a mine. You were a dick. You know, like there's got to be like just books full of this shit. Improper right? use of a mine. Improper. Yeah. In, improper mine grievance. There's you a know. bunch of cloaker pro- should, yeah. uh, ordinances. Like, RCW. We can we can send a message to these people and saying, you know, dirty fucking pool. Yeah. Oh, the Zagonezers. Yeah. Come back. Come happened. back. You were good neighbors. By the way, he defaced some of your statuary. Yeah. Um, P.S. You, but you know how to do stone. Yeah. So. P.S. He might now be a different person. Magically. You have to roll for that or anything? Oh, yeah. There's going to be a lot of rolling. I can't wait. Okay. First, roll the Nessicize. <laughs> I can put him to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so do we? Uh, we're going to do this in the town? Yes. Okay, so right. we'll go down to town with him just okay. in case there's a few more goblins. That's why I didn't send them down right away. I didn't want them to get waylaid by goblins coming into the town. So, uh, As you make your way back out into the, the foyer area, you can see that some of the townsfolk now have like bowls of soup. Oh, oh the nice, oh, the the nice, nice lady. soup lady. Oh, she made and soup yeah, for everybody. You, you, see, you see that she's going through. She's, she brought out, she's got like a stack of bowls and she's just um, got a little tureen, little, little yeah. pot so of what, what's soup. So what's her story? Soup maiden. This yeah. is a this is yeah. a this is a position a, a very valued member of dwarf society. The soup. It's maiden. very hard to cook blind, but you can throw a bunch of shit in a pot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Soup is really stews. much all I can make. Yeah. <laughs> when I hear it going, blah, 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 it's done. <laughs> I can smell it. Uh, yeah, and so she's dispensing uh, warm soup to the the cold, malnourished okay. villagers. Um, it's heartwarming. Is what it is. It is. She is this ray of light in an otherwise dank, dingy place. Aww. She she can come back to the village too. Yes. Um, but yeah, let's let's get let's let's get people out of here. So. Yeah. I wonder if the right place to do this is it might not okay. be in my in our mobile trauma center. We probably have pretty good trauma facilities on yeah, the boat. Yeah, on I the imagine. boat. All right. Uh, so you march the villagers back to Nightstone, and uh, they sort of march their way across the drawbridge and inside, look around at all the boulders that were dropped, and finally sort of take stock of the. The trauma. The, the chaos and trauma that this attack by the giants inflicted, and suddenly they remembered about this big giant castle that drifted overhead and just started pummeling them with these giant stones, mm-hmm. driving them out. And then a couple of them remember seeing a group of giants fly down, and these giants were like 30 feet tall and had white wispy hair, and they wrenched the nightstone up out of the ground mm-hmm. and bore mm-hmm. it back up to the castle mm. before leaving. Yeah, that's the flashback. Yeah. Uh, so they begin to uh, take stock of the damage and return to their homes and whatever. Your family's like, well, uh, our house survived. And your, your mother's like, where's my grandchildren? <laughs> I haven't uh, really met. Now, my suspicion is that you have quite a lot of grandchildren. <laughs> More than likely, yeah. Uh, that's well, my guess. Well, that's right. Jack done done right by us. <laughs> yeah, how many kids Why does Jack have Why can't you be more now? like Jack? He's got six kids. Jack is a wonderful... Probably seven by now. Probably seven by now. <laughs> Just exhausted. Because <laughs> <laughs> Jack is the best. Uh, well, I'm going to rig up... Your Mima uh, and your Peepaw are... Yeah. Uh, I like Mima and Peepaw. Yeah, they're pretty quiet and cool. <clears throat> We're going to rig it up on the airship. 
uh, as I had talked about at the beginning of the game, just to to move the largest of the boulders, basically just to get these things out. Okay. Because it would take a generation yeah. for them to remove all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. And as you're sort of helping to haul these boulders away, you notice that in one of the fields, there's a boulder that actually fell on somebody. You see his oh. legs sticking out underneath it, and he's all broken and hideous. Is uh, Jack? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Oh, it's dead night, dead winter. Dead winter is here at last. That's how you know dead winter's coming. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when Jack is dead. Corpse of your brother. Yeah. <laughs> now, Jack took his family and moved to a nearby town. Yeah. Um, he, he probably has a much nicer IT, house. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you find in another collapsed uh, farmhouse, there's an old woman who also got crushed by some falling beams and furniture and stuff. But it seems like very few townsfolk were actually hurt in the attack, which is great. So you start to haul things away. Uh, the townsfolk, needing to sort of cheer themselves up over the deaths of the ten odd people who used yeah. to live here, are planning to hold the feast and, with the help of this dwarf woman, uh, cook up a nice stew to go with it. Um, and you discover her name is Istrid. Well, oh, that's a great name. That is a great name. Istrid Zagernezer. Oh. oh! Why did she stick around? She refused to leave. She had no she idea refused, anyone else left. She refused <laughs> to leave. Um, it, was, Warlock, it was a huge surprise. Yeah. Crack deal maker that he is, said she could stay on one condition, and that is that she basically feed him. Makes wow. two. Yeah. And so I let her know. I'm like, so apparently he, you like, cursed the ale. And Motherfucker. <laughs> wow. I know, right? No, it's just like ladles thrown. <laughs> <laughs> Other <laughs> soup tools. Over all the soup. Also She's like, interacted with. Well, we got to set it right. Okay. Good. We can get a message to your people. We need to get the ale people. flowing again. Yeah. Bring yeah. happiness to this. Yeah. You got to clean that shit out. <laughs> yeah. There's you might have, have left do. a dead spider rotting in your keg. Oh. <laughs> but, but that's, listen, it's not Zagarnezer ale if there isn't a spider in the keg. I Find a spider you. in the keg. Yes. Yeah, exactly. It win a prize. Yeah. She says it's the best ale in the land. Well, so we're the told. venom yeah. gives it a little. Yeah. Right now it's a little thick. I wish I was. I wish I was a bit better at running the business, though. Huh? Mm -hmm. Do you need, uh, do we, we know good bookkeepers. Do you need, do you need like a, like an investor? Okay. Yeah. Understood. Understood. Um, uh, I need to cut a man's head open. Uh, we'll, talk, we'll, we'll talk about this. <laughs> yeah, I need to cut a man's head open. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about this in a moment. But I, I hear that and it's like, I've got the scrubs on. Okay. Ionized. Just leather gauntlets. Yeah. <laughs> this is plate mail. Yeah. <laughs> Oily <laughs> junk. <laughs> There's bits of beef <laughs> clinging from a previous Freddy meal. Or something? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. But I mean, as much damage as I do, I should be able to heal. How are you going to incapacitate him? Because he's, you know. I can put him to sleep. I'll put him out. <laughs> That's not a precursor. That head wound is not a precursor. I can precursor. magically put him to sleep. Oh, there like, you go. Uh, how long does sleep last these days, though? Well, like if he takes a... damage, effectively, he'll wake up. But at least he'll be you know, well, I guess that's true. tied to a well, bed. Like, damage there, if you're we, drilling we got, his brain. Right, he'll be tied to a bed at that point. Yeah. We're, um, Local herbalist? Yeah, I was going to say herbalism and also, you know. Wise. Uh, we want a wise woman, to... but not so wise that she's actually going to try to stop him. <laughs> right. No, in fact, uh, the, the local <laughs> herbalist slash apothecary is an old tiefling woman. Oh. Uh, she has oh, no yeah. scruples. She's down. She's down. Yeah. yeah. So she she. Uh, so let's crack this nut. The problem is he's a dwarf, so intoxicants are like yeah. Mm. You know, and his iron stomach. We yeah. gotta use extra. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Extra. Okay. Uh, the extra. first batch doesn't work. We got time. Second batch doesn't work. <laughs> Third batch doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Finally. <laughs> it's like four hours <laughs> in. Yeah. This might kill him alone. This, this is like me with the. Dentists, yeah, freeze. Oh, it's the same. It I never can't. takes hold. No, 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 it doesn't work for me either. Like, no, I can still feel it. Still fucking feel it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, tell by my tears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's all yeah. still real. It's like I should should I be knowing this? Yes. Is this real information? So now you're gonna cut them open? Yeah. I am. All right. I am using medicine? yeah using medicine. Who's your wet nurse? And then when he's and then uh, Fiari. You, uh, I'm your, I'm your nurse. Wait, because you have the, you have, you have the dexterity. I do have fine mm. motor control. Sure, you just, yeah. <laughs> I'll use the apocalypse dagger. Try that old thing out with the apocalypse dagger. <laughs> 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 yeah, see, that's how you create the villain for the next campaign. <laughs> like, yes. Is you take a person with a mystical arrowhead embedded in their brain, and, and then try to dig it out with the apocalypse dagger. Um, that's how it goes. So I'm, I'm basically at the ready with cure wounds. Yeah. 
Um, you're saying okay. that from my from my earlier, I was yep. able to assess that the that okay. it's still present and available. Absolutely. Yes. I, but I'm ready with cure wounds to if I fuck something up, I'm ready to cap it. Understood. Uh, make a medicine check for me. I will. I will. Actually, you know what I'm going to do first? What's that? I'm going to cast guidance on myself, All right. and give mm. myself an extra D4. Excellent. Are you pleased, Chris? I am. Have you been wondering why I haven't used it? It's because yeah. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, plus seven, uh, plus D4. Ooh. Okay. 22, 23. Mm -hmm. Okay, you cut him open, you pull the arrowhead out, you cast a heal spell, yeah. it's done. <laughs> now, is there, now, I'm gonna hand this thing to Mike, or when I say Mike, of course I mean Jim Dark Magic. Yes. Is there anything odd about this arrowhead? Like, uh, so, it, it, he ran into trouble with elves. I mean, yes. I'm trying to figure out what were they doing to their enemies at this time. Whoa! 26 oh. Arcana? What were they doing yes. to their enemies at uh, this time then? He was clearly struck by uh, this arrow. Um, and you believe it was a magical arrow. Mm. And you believe at when it was intact, it was an arrow of dwarf slaying. Wow. Arrow of dwarf slaying? Wow. Jeez! Hey, Oh, it's totally a thing. Yeah, that would suck to have an arrow of dwarf slaying embedded in your head. Yeah. Just constantly no, it's slaying like you. The magical version of lead poisoning yeah. where it turned him into like self loathing well, no, dwarf. No, no, I mean, for real, yeah. I mean, imagine like, a, imagine like an arrow of like Jim Dark Magic slaying. He's still going right. to be a shit. Is it still functional? Is it still. No, I mean, when they broke. In order to. When I guess he tried to remove it, or somebody tried to yeah. remove it, and it broke oh, off, chips. and it just lodged in there, God, so it's so no longer functional. So, I mean, but if we were to you go only back, sense the residual magic. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, if we were to go back and figure and look at all the other things that he's done, go, it's an arrow of, of dwarf slaying. I throw it in like this. This skin, muscle, bones, natural. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, I do the thing that happens in the medical shows after, and I pull them off, and I just I really take a moment to think about like life and death. <laughs> um, and so, yeah. But having that in your head, having that, in, having that in your head for how long? Wake him up. See if he's still. He said forty years. Shot. He was shot. 40, Boy, what day? Forty years ago. Yeah. <laughs> That's not too late. Bring me the biggest goose in town. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So you're able to revive him. Yeah. Is there any familial connection going back between Ierheels and Zagernezers? Like, is this some familial beef that went back a ways? It was. It's like the Amber Shard Bronze Bottom thing, right? Yeah. It was a sort of a clan rivalry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I wonder if there's a point of, I wonder if there's a those point where a, it became two those clans. Those are a fun thing we do. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it, it always it. comes back to, like, somebody took somebody's sheep yeah. at this one time. Yeah. You know? There, As he wakes up, I just go, do you feel like enslaving anyone? <laughs> <laughs> he says, my head hurts. Well, that, yes, it would. It would, but... Something Are you is thinking? Different. I agree. I am bleeding well, internally. <laughs> <laughs> Into my brain. His eyes just go red and blood. blood. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, but I smell, yeah. no, I smell he, toast constantly. <laughs> but then he flies around the room. And I taste copper. <laughs> yeah. And he says, uh, What do you mean? What do you mean? This my. And he sort of touches his head, and the wound is not really there much present. Well, no, no, it should, should, should be scar-free, yeah. yeah to I want to all. dance. And he <laughs> says, I feel much better now. I feel strong. Like I and you can see two villages. <laughs> 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 and uh, you can see he sort of wobbles to his feet, and he's still very weak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, uh, you hear him go, ha, 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 this is great. Oh. How, so, uh, how about so? It, Feel like a new dwarf. <laughs> Golems to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they rise up from the ground. To me. No, they burrow up out of the ground, like up on his shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> and he rides away. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Now he can go to jail for a hundred years yes. for fraud. You're gonna be <laughs> just as a heads up. <laughs> probably gonna be tried. <laughs> For slavery, <laughs> and attempted murder, and, and some murder, and real murder, and real murder. <laughs> what? But uh, we'll see you. But anyway, it was good to meet you. Got that arrow out of your head. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you show him the arrow at all? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Guy, hold him. Hey, this was in your brain. Whoop. <laughs> well, you don't know that what a brain is. They haven't been invented yet. <laughs> There's nothing in there. Uh, Wait a second. This is why elves are terrible people. <laughs> Oh, that's racist. Oh, wow. Well, I should have killed oh, wow. him, I told you. Well, basically, <laughs> it's like... It's and he says to you, thank you very much. I owe you my life. 
Get in the mine. <laughs> <laughs> And an iron heel always pays off his debts. Oh. No. Mm. We want to go how on. Much, <laughs> how much does he pay? How much debt is. How much debt do you think. I mean, I know, but how much do you think. How much debt do you think that, that you have accrued for me for getting it out of you? He says. You. Oh, I don't know. That's a 5,000 gold. Okay. So that sounds that pretty good. That was what I was yeah. thinking. That was yeah. my number. I say, you need to use... So you, 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 are, you ready, are you ready to pay? Can you like write a check? Or <laughs> how are we going to do this? He says, I have the funds locked away in my hearth. Oh, we didn't search the hearth. Well, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Listen. Here's what has to happen. And I don't want you to tell anyone that I told you this. You need to spend this money bringing the Zagarnezers home and repairing this town. Uh, says, yes, of course. That yeah. is the right thing I'm to do. Going off the gold. Yeah, yeah. Now, <laughs> in exchange, um, we won't kill you. Definitely, if we could get one of those cool golems. Yeah. And, um, we need access. How do you feel about ale? I like the ale. <laughs> what? Man, it was this arrow. Okay, it was these get, fucking what, elves. No, he hated, <laughs> it's because he hated everything. We're that gonna was build dwarven. a wall, and yes. these elves are gonna pay <laughs> <start laughs> <safe> for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm um, gonna set up a registry of elves. But, but, I, but I want for acquisitions incorporated use. Right. Yeah. Exclusive rights to distribute the Zagarnezer ale. He's not a Zagarnezer. He's not a Zagarnezer. He's not a Zagarnezer. But, he, but this is this. It's all going to be. It's going to be okay. You'll see. He says, "Yeah." All right, deal. I mean, technically, he does own it. Yeah, yeah. He, he bought yeah. it from. Well, him. Exactly. Yeah. It's all. It's all on paper. I'm saying we're gonna. Yeah. We're gonna give the rest of the stills back, but one of these is gonna pump out AI. Zagarnezer ale. Yeah. With the Acquisitions Incorporated logo. Mm. It's going to be incredible. It's, it'll, it'll be our Ales of the World series. <laughs> <laughs> Ales well, yeah. but ends well. Nice. Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> he says, uh, yes, uh, making of ale is not my specialty. It will need some sort of supervisors. He's French yeah, now. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Making of ale is not my specialty. Uh, hey, you know. Uh, what do you no, think? No, absolutely. This, yeah, this, yeah, this yeah the thing removed from his head, so his accent changed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do you say? This is the second person that has sort of fished for someone to help with the brewery. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm just saying, you know, a it's, large portion of these funds need to be spent right. making this yeah. right. I know that you, you feel as though you've just waken up, but during this period of time where you felt asleep, things happened. Yeah, I know to be for that, right. that's for sure. Do you remember doing the stuff you did? Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> Do you feel bad about it? No. Oh, yes. Very. Yeah. Yeah. Bad. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so, so when the Zagarnezers return, they'll be able to help with this. And obviously, <gasps> districts, spirits. It's the, it's the Zagarnezers. <laughs> um, but obviously, Istrid, um, Istrid can help you um, set this place right. I think. Yeah, she's good girl. Yeah. And she makes hot soup. <laughs> Um, it's, you know, I, I feel like increasingly bad about brutalizing like a fun loving golem in my old boyhood church. <laughs> oh, um, goblin? Yeah. Oh, the goblins. Yes. Yeah. Um, Can you make a donation? No. To the goblins fund? <laughs> no, what I, but I know there's got to be like whoever is the priest in that church is probably a hunter and knows something about it. or there's yeah. got to be a good poacher around here, right? He's probably cleaning up goblin teeth right now. <laughs> well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, like that goblin... The priest was one of the guys who was killed by the... Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. There's po that's, like, poaching has yeah, to be yeah. a major cottage industry around here. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if I'll find a poacher. I actually want to like find out where these goblins went. Goblin mm -hmm. memorial. You know, because he dragged the body um, away. Yeah. And I can actually, I can use my mojo to like bring his friend back to life. Cause like what? that was, that was on me. 
What do you I mean can, you can bring him back? Oh, you're going to spend money to have him like... No, I can do that once a day. You just bring someone back to life. Oh. Yep. Right? Okay. Now that's a miracle. Yep. That is a Christmas miracle. It was a... The, God, we killed oh. a goblin. You know what I mean? One, not the one. Yeah, I, I, roughed, you know I roughed the one up. Yeah, but, but I'm saying that obviously just follow that trail of goblin blood. Yeah, that's I true. He was dragging goblin. a body. Even I, I could probably did. follow I that. Killed so. it. I stunned yeah. him and then um, you murdered him. Yes. Um, so, yeah. It, um, a number of things sort of happen at this point. Uh, um, Orlock sets into motion plans to make good on his promise to you. Um, yeah. The He's locals, just writing documents. Yes, the locals are once again sort of coming together to get the feast prepared, um, ignoring the giant hole in the top, in the roof of the inn. Um, it's a feast hole. It's a feast hole. <laughs> yes, uh, but of course you all have to stay and attend. And, uh, oh yeah. Uh, Viari's family wants to know everything about all of you. Yeah. When it you might go take a off while. To find the goblin, yes, you do find the goblin. He has been making his way steadily back to the lair. When you find him, he's sitting by a rock eating the remains of his dead friend. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Bring him back to life. See, this is what you get stomach. for applying your own cultural <laughs> yeah. norms to, yeah, to the yeah. goblin kind. Now, he hasn't made a tremendous amount of progress, but he's basically chopped off one of the arms. Oh! And <laughs> It's a Christmas miracle, <laughs> and it starts to snow. <laughs> no, no, the, the only way to make this right is for you to eat him also. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Just, <laughs> just sit down, eat his dead friend with him. That's the coming together of cultures. <laughs> yeah. That uh, No, no, you each start at one end of the arm, and it's yeah. like... Oh. <laughs> Are you like leaning in the tramp his arm? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, feel, <laughs> I feel... Now I feel like I... You feel chastised, Philly? N- no, I feel like I maybe... I, I I gotta go. I gave I gave this <laughs> goblin a Christmas miracle oh of his God. own. It was the biggest goose in the window for him. Yeah, it was his friend, the other goblin. <laughs> yep. I, uh... <laughs> I, I, you know what I do? I come back and I tell you guys the touching story of how they brought that goblin back, to, and they were like <laughs> super happy. Wow, we're impressed. Wow, yeah. yeah. you're a good person. You know, you're pretty awesome. awesome. Yep. You're a All great right. person. It's an amazing thing to do, man. Well, nice job. It wasn't really your power. I mean, yeah. it's power on loan, but sure. it's very cool. You choose where it use, gets used, so that's the yeah. yeah, I felt bad, but it just goes to show that all people are good. <laughs> <laughs> the end. So, um, yeah. when you say that, uh, the the villagers have decided that they are not going to hold a grudge against Orlock. They're going to eat him. They're going to eat him. Uh, <laughs> They're going to eat his whole body. It's the goblin way. <laughs> <laughs> it's the goblin way. <laughs> uh, it's a borrowed tradition. Yes, uh, but they will They will invite him to partake of the feast. Interesting. When you think about it, the orlock that imprisoned them is gone. Yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. That, yes. He died. Yes. He died that moment. Yes. It was the, it was the arrowhead yes. that imprisoned you. And Orlock will cut the roast beast. (laughs) 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 And the camera pans out, (laughs) and we roll the credits. It wasn't the airplanes, but it was the Elven Arrowhead what killed the beast. (laughs) 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 All right, uh, so as Dead Winter uh, Feast is celebrated in the town of Nightstone, and people make the most of this uh, horrible weather and horrible situation, uh, what are you guys doing to wrap up your business here? Uh, The chest of gold is delivered. Um, um, he is, uh, Orlok is going to send um, Istrid emissaries. off uh, with a letter inviting the Zagarnezer clan back to the hearth. Okay. And I'm assuming like we got some guards there or something so we're not just handing the blind woman a piece of paper and putting her on the road. Oh, like an escort? He's someone who's not blind. That's Jack. what I mean. You yeah. know who would be good at this? <laughs> oh, Jack. You know, Jack would be I, uh, I commissioned a blacksmith to make a plaque congratulating Jack as being the savior of Nightstone. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Christmas present, right? <laughs> Uh-uh. No, no, it would change the name of the town to Jackstone. <laughs> Jackstone. Because <laughs> yeah. the Nightstone's gone. The Nightstone's right. gone. I'm just right. finishing out the night with my muskrat and my wine. Yeah, yeah. The inn in front it's of the muskrat fire. and wine time. And you pouring a glass. You know, yeah. you're, you're sort of, there's like two chairs in front of the fire, and you're in yeah. one of them, Jim, and Ben wins in the other, and you're just passing the flask, yes. uh, bottle back and no, forth. No, no, you know what it is? It's the like muskrat. The, the muskrat's no, on no, the no, little no, table. No, you in have between. the muskrat. It's like, what if you have the muskrat? What if you have the wine? Drink. And then you pass this, and then the muskrat yeah. goes. <laughs> yeah. It's soft. <laughs> it just feels right. good. It's yes. good to have your own muskrat. 
Exactly. You want to share? It's going to start to smell like shit soon. Well, Is it alive? It we don't know if no, it's alive. I thought it's it was stuffed, stuffed muskrat. It's oh, a stuffed, it's a stuffed muskrat. muskrat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I thought it was going to go shitty on suit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's a toy. Technically. Yeah, it was just a, a okay. more, something that probably rested up on a mantle somewhere. It's our mascot. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. checking out the. Uh, I'm checking out this the still. Uh, you know, in my mind, I can already see. You know, you know, from water deep to never winter. I can see caravans taking this from place to place. Mm -hmm. yep. And instead of snow, I see gold coins. <laughs> yes. And then Gently we cut falling. to Viari around the fire with his family. Camera pulls out of their frost covered window. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jack comes home. <laughs> and then I'll go, Jack! <laughs> and Viari leaves. And you leave. And Viari dies. Exactly. <laughs> and the snow starts falling. We just get in the airship and go. And covers the yeah, body. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Covers, right. covers up everything. Everything's blanketed in white. That's it. <sighs> did we it's win Dungeons and Dragons? Did. We did. The end. You did. The end. It feels good. Yep. It feels good, man. Heartwarming. Thank you very thank much. You. Merry yeah, thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. <laughs> All of us. Happy holidays is what liberals say. Merry Christmas. <laughs>